Hello, we are here against all the odds. Uh, the meeting of minds. <laughs> I won't say great because what's a great mind anyway? Fair. But my, and, and I should say that for myself. But friendly minds today, beautiful minds. Jeff Wittick. Thank you for having me, my man. Mike Malik. Yeah. Okay. Malik. Well, that sounds like an I. At- Malik. It should be Malak. Oh, Malak. Yeah, but Malak works. You didn't pretty slaughter good. the J and say like Majlak. Malak. Yeah, but I, yeah, I, pra- I practiced that. <laughs> so that's pretty good for me. People that know me. That is good. And of course, Tana Mojo. <laughs> And did I say your last name right? You did. Okay. okay. You did. Because I practiced that one too. Did you? And I've talked about you a lot and I was never really clear on how to say it. Yeah. I but mean, that's fair. I don't think you. Tricky names, these two. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Dude, I can't believe we're sitting here right now. I know. This it, is it, crazy. It's crazy. I feel me. like I'm surrounded by adverse, adversary, adverse, adversary. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, dude, listen, at the end of the day, we're in your den. You know what I'm saying? We're in the we're in the sharks. Yeah, we're yeah, in your yeah. you have a NASA no NASA mm-hmm. control center like team that yeah. runs. A sh- I yeah. couldn't believe how many people you have behind the scenes, and it shows in the product. It's a great Thank product, you. Yeah. It's a Thank program. You. Yeah, but I, I'm you know program. We're, he says, oh, uh, pro- I'm old. Oh, that's yeah. nice though. Program. Yeah, program. That's respect. Yeah, we thought well, we we're gonna get whacked walking in here. Sketchy yeah. looking warehouse outside, <laughs> but very nice yeah, yeah, inside. Yeah. yeah, good to see all you guys. It's crazy because we're such. We've been such a big part of the show, but we've never met. So I know that's it's a good way of putting when I it. First saw you specifically because we talked in text and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was just kind of weird that we had never met before, but here we are. You know, yeah, talked about all you guys quite a bit, <laughs> and so to sit here together. You know, I'm in a. This is a peace time for me. Oh, by the way, shout out to our sponsor, Harry's Razors. Harry. <laughs> good people over there getting carried away. <laughs> this is a time of peace for me. This is a time of. Uh, Mature, maturing. I've got kids now. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why is it? Why do you feel like because of the kids? I guess. No, because I don't know. I just, you know, sometimes, I think what happened was during the frenemies era, and I'm not going to blame Trisha for me being an asshole. Okay. But, and we we kind of we kind of brought it out in each other. Okay. So I'm not I'm not at yeah. all blaming her. But I just, you know, a lot happened, a lot got caught up, and I just was hating on everyone. I said, I'm a prof- I'm a hater-ass bitch. Yeah. I came out of the closet last week as a hater-ass hate bitch. Closet. I've yeah. been there, I've been there. You, you know, know, it's like uh, Alcoholics Anonymous for haters. So yeah, I'm coming out of the closet. That, a lot of good things came out of that era, believe it or not. Yeah. I actually, I wouldn't change a thing. Wow, thanks, bro. It was a real eye-opening experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You don't have that. You don't have that rim shot, do you, on your show? We do. You do? Uh, yeah, I think it's overused. I like it. I like that. Uh, well, I like they, that we could hear the sound bites. They have a one guy, specifically Zach, right? Specifically mm-hmm. for sounds. Yeah. That's, how, yeah. that's how I knew that I was in the presence of a, a great oh, wow. program. Yeah, yeah. Because normally the, the sound guy does a number of jobs. Maybe they're like mm-hmm. taking notes on stuff that should be clipped or they're sending something to the to you know to the host of the show, but just specifically for sound like my favorite one is I just shit my gym, my shorts, you know, or like that that one about me <laughs> shitting my gym shorts. Yeah, he should be able to pull that. You out. have that one? Yeah. I shit my pants today. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That's but that's see, I come from the Howard Stern era <laughs> and Fred Norris just sound bites and it adds so much texture to the show. So my dream was to have someone like Zach. We've been working together for a long time, and yeah, that's basically his specific job. Okay, I think Ethan. I'm shit my what? pants. <laughs> okay, Ethan. Yeah. Okay, Ethan. That's a very. Can I hear that one? Line. My fave. Okay, Ethan. Ethan. That was a. Uh, that was a. <laughs> it was almost perfect. That was lined up. Dude. That was. <laughs> what is that from? Our first oh, time yeah. when I, when I yeah. came on the show live. Thank you for not doing this live. Yeah, today, of course, way. absolutely. How was that? I don't think I ever watched that. It was bad. It was, it was like watching a train It was rough. Yeah. It was it one was of the rough. worst things I've ever I was hey. sitting there just, well, Jeff, was- why'd you do it? Because listen, <laughs> that's not the only person who's decided they wanted to live take on Ethan and, and the army. What are the foot soldiers, right? Yeah, they, we, uh, we had wiki feet. We had the fall of Jeff Wittick. We had the fall of... Not it, the, fall. the Well, it's okay, the, the temporary... It was a wake-up call. Let's call it a wake-up call. But, but At my, the time, it was a fall. I felt it was a fall, but... Yeah, go on. Well, just my little brother, Aiden Ross, decided he wanted to give it a shot. Yeah. That was nice to see him come down with me, though. (laughs) I kind of felt like, all right. It's just tough, man. Here's one of the things about this show versus other shows or other people. 
you guys prepare. You're very oh, well yeah. prepared. So true. You're a bit you're a bit older, a bit more mature. Yes. You have a, a, a cultural and traditional, you know, stance on things. Mm -hmm. And so when a 25 or 23 or 28 year old call or even a uh you know 40 year old in the case of crowder who's a bitch ass loser yeah <laughs> saw that with sam cedar yeah that was a surprise that was like a cody code jake paul moment for a second right there. Just, right out of nowhere right, dude right. like that was one of my favorite <laughs> moments with your show right because, thank dude, you you know what? What is this thing? Uh, convince me otherwise, or something? Yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. Debate me. Change, change, change my change mind. Change my mind. Yeah, I think yeah. you, you changed it for a second that day. It seemed like was that, he, he that, just, yeah, I, I, that was I, a setup situation. You had an ambush. Yeah. So Crowder wanted. He's. You know who Stephen Crowder is? Yeah. Yeah. So he wanted to debate me on something. I don't even remember what it was. And we're like, dude, this guy's such a fucking loser. Like, I'm not going to debate him on some deep political shit. And so there's this guy Sam Cedar who is like his rival. And he's always been dodging him in a debate. Uh, and so we figured out this way to, we got on the Zoom call live. Or no, it was pre-recorded. That's your YouTube boxing right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the pen with the brain. We managed to, to get him into the Zoom call covertly. <laughs> and it was just, it was good. Fireworks. But speaking of uh, preparation, we are prepared. We're great. Because today <laughs> is the BFFFF show. I love it. I love it. There's been an ongoing competition to who's going to be my bestie. You know, I've been <laughs> teetering between you guys. I open, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, after today, you I'm might be in the running. Oh, my yeah. God. Um, I'll try my best. Okay, I've so, been dying to be. So the first thing I want to do is bring out the hats. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, you don't have to wear it because you have beautiful hair, but I appreciate it. But I'm about can. to. But you can. Really You're encouraged to. <laughs> so here we have the hats. Okay. No, you guys have heard of the BFF podcast. Oh, well, that's over. We? That's over. <laughs> this is the BFFFF podcast. So, are you Portnoy in this? I guess yeah. I'd be, who's Port? You're Portnoy. I'd be the jock. No. I, what do you mean? I'm the Portnoy. You can't. I'm the young. Yeah, you're the TikTok. Oh, I guess boy. you're young TikTok and hot. Like yeah. yeah. Look at me. This All right. So, fit. who's Josh Richards? Is that me? Would that be? Oh, I oh, guess I'd be the I'd be the Josh. This is a new show. There's no archetype. Oh, got it. Got it. You know, forget about BFF. Okay. That shit's dead to me. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Fuck them. <laughs> I'm only friends uh, with the people in this room. Everyone else get fucked. Who would have thought okay, that, that would happen? Hey, hey, by the way, the H3 Dave Pornoy podcast is a great podcast. You should listen. They invited okay, me on. Don't to just do draw BFF. the line with with the olive branch from us. I like Go Dave. all the way. Yeah, yeah. He invited me on his podcast just like yesterday. Listen, Dave's on apologetic. Yeah. That's iconic. He's very unapologetic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And he, he sticks to his guns. And I think there's, I think there's some... Uh, there's something to be said about that in today's current society. All right. Well, we got the hats. Uh, hold on, hold, hold, hold on to your thoughts okay. there, Mike. You're getting ahead. Of, you're getting too excited. Okay. All right. So this, so I, we have a ceremony here. Okay. In the French, in the spirit of friendship. Who would have ever thought? Uh, this one is okay. Now here, uh, guys, go ahead. Open that. Open this. Go ahead. Open that, guys. Okay. And then we each have a friendship bracelet. It's just like anthrax. Out. This one's for you, Jeff. Yeah. It's just a sniff of anthrax. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. So everyone put on. Is it this one for you guys? Yeah. Do we put on? Oh. You, you pass those three out as a declaration of friendship. Okay. Anna. Oh baby. Don't you? Okay, wait. But then, do wait, you ever a... done this at the end of the show after we like? Because Mike, what you if come we here, you tell me how to do my fucking sure, show. Yeah. See, Give right. me the bracelet, yeah. dude. Yep, yep, Just yep, sure. so damn. Wait, now you take one. Jeff and Mike. There you go. This Mike. one also says Mike. Did I give you the wrong one? I got Tana and Mike. We yeah. both get one. We both get one. So you've wear Anna one. And Jeff and Ethan. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, so Honestly, I only have one. What the fuck? Y'all really going to do this to me? Wait, I have here. Here you go. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. <laughs> I thought, listen, if you don't want to be my bestie, that's Mike fine. Mike and Ethan. I want to be your bestie. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't have any. So when you say that you're, nice. when you say that you're looking for a new BFF, do you almost mean to fill the Internet's void of frenemies? Or do you no, mean? No, just like. This is what the... I was worried about. This is what I was worried about. You two get together. And then what about me? I'm just cut out. It's been five minutes. <laughs> no, no you... one. No one can replace you. In my but that's heart, that's not. Uh, no, it's just like you know the the proverbial bestie. Okay, we're I thought that was you and Hassan. Right you and me. Are... Yeah, we're besties. You guys are you guys are going crazy right now. You're off yeah, the rails. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I, yeah, but also the, so now we also have guys. If you could all bring out your friendship bracelets at this moment, because actually in the BFF running, everybody has a horse. Mm -hmm. You all have supporters in this office. So if you guys could pass out your bracelet, I know who it is. My man, AB. 
The glasses. Look at the glasses and the hat. Go ahead, guys. Yeah, just what pass out your say? friendship bracelets. Thank you. That's AB's bra uh, oh, declaration. Yeah, uh, Olivia. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, everybody. You uh, guys, you guys Someone smells rave? really good. Thank you. One thank of you, you. smells really, really, really <laughs> good. You guys ever go get plural? Thank you. Get hey, plural. Thank you, wow. It means a lot, brother. Thank you. Plur, get plur, guys. Get plur. Yeah, get plur, thank you. This guys. looks like me thank on you. Molly Everybody. at a rave a long oh, okay. time ago. Wait, why did Jeff doesn't? Oh, maybe I got a couple. Yeah, okay. You really didn't get that many. Actually, you know what's crazy is that, damn, you guys don't have as many bracelets. Yeah, you have the oh. most. I would assume it's because you're responsible for payroll. <laughs> no, it's it's kind of crazy that I have so many more bracelets. Than Fuck you guys. The, brain, yeah. the brain. You have more of working. everything than us. More employees, more money, a bigger for sure. house, so. more sanity. I'm sure. More sanity. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Okay, and then guys, if you could take off your shirts, please, and, but not in like a weird way. They have team affiliations. Okay. I now, saw Phase Clan. Yeah. See, this so, is why we're four fucked today, bro. These dudes. Team Tana. Hey. Yeah, hey. So, Wait, there's all. They're all Team they're all Tana. Tana. No, 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 no. No, no. We're just kind of. Is there, there some sort of printing error or something? Wait, or, there's no, four. No, no. Oh, Zach. All right. So Team oh, Mike okay. is Zach. <laughs> It, this, yeah. this is all real affiliations, guys. This, hey, this is all know. how it came down. I mean, AB, AB just told me on the side, he said this is all pre-decided by Ethan. No, you did it. No, you didn't. You wouldn't say <laughs> <I> didn't. that. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> you wouldn't go against the family. There's just one team. Oh, three Team Jeff. Wow, so, you, so you've got quite a lot of supporters there. AB, Lena, and Cam. Wait, I AB's Team Tana. Tana. Oh, what? When's, oh, you're Team Tana? I'm team, yeah, I can't decide. How'd you and Jeff. your wife end up on different teams? That's kind of odd. What is Dan? Huh? What is Dan? How'd you and Lena end up on different teams? I couldn't decide between Jeff and Mike. <laughs> team Banks. There's a Team Banks. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to that. Oh, right? oh my I'll get to that. God. Oh, Banks has... card. He got the Boston hat on, the sleeve the tattoo, tattoo, and everything. All right, so oh. then we got, we got Jeff. Who's Team Mike? One person. Right here, dude. Uh, Just Zach? Oh, and Ian, too. Oh, and Ian's Ian. Team Mike yeah. yep. with yep. the gym shorts. Oh, there, oh, where? Just wait. Right here. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's Ian. Nice. And then okay. Team Tana, we have... Uh, where what we got here? We, we got uh, Olivia. Just letting you know now, I'll probably yeah. disappoint. The, so. No, the girls are, are are riding for you, and of course Dan was a holdout. What's the deal, Dan? Why well, are you we were having a conversation the other day, and we kind of floated Banks as being another Banks. BFF possibility, <laughs> but you kind of iced him out, and I didn't really like how you did my boy dirty like you, that. So do you, you talk? Do you talk up? to Banks ever? I've talked to him. I know times. that. Yeah. you guys have talked on Twitter and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what are your thoughts? That's funny. Dan is a, uh, he's on Team Nobody here. Yeah, that's right. What a surprise. I'm, I'm with Max, too. Yeah. I got a bone to pick with Dan, but I'll wait for them to give me the Godfather all right, soundtrack. All right. Okay, all right. Yeah, so so basically, uh, now that we're all plurred out, you know, it's all about love and affection. Everyone, I mean, I have a, quite so a lot more than, than, like, specifically, you only have Yeah, why four. do you have four? It's kind of sad, but it's okay. Because he made the rules. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Real good energy in this place. <laughs> right. So, but now let's, we're moving on. Okay, so let's move on, guys. So, first of all, let's just say hi. Um, hi. Uh, thank you guys all for being here. I feel like we already did the intro. Um, Tana, you came, and you know, a lot of people were afraid you were going to flake. I had faith in you the whole time. Did you? Uh, yeah, I thought for sure. I love this newfound faith in me. I don't know where it came from. No, you I must said, be on a, on a peace roll. No, I said, I, listen, she's showing up. No, I'm not and that fucking stupid. I would have been ripped to shreds had I not shown up. <laughs> let's be real. And I just could not give you that. Okay. I got surgery yesterday and I woke up this morning gushing blood. And I was like, wow. I'm going to gush blood at age three before I fucking lose all my. Does it hurt to talk? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was willing to go through pain. For more reasons than one, really. Here. Yeah. What's the other one? I'm scared of anything I'm going to fucking say. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, gonna get me canceled by the what do you call the foot what foot soldiers foot soldiers yeah but that, that yeah. that's you guys it's just because we fucked up wiki feet it's not like a real <laughs> army how'd you I fuck got, up wiki feet well I got permanently banned from wiki feet in fact we ruined the whole wiki feet men's side it's a long story damn. I was number one on the website, and people weren't happy. Wait, about actually, it. so wow. what is that? That's like a Wikipedia for people's feet, right? You don't know about wiki feet? You don't no, know. you're definitely on. I've wiki heard feet. about it. I'm a big fan of the show. Believe it or not, I've been watching for a long time. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, I know what you're doing. I, I've been I know, watching no, since Vape, Vape Nation way back. Big H3 fan over here. He, so when he's a fan of the audience too. Thank, oh, uh, I mean, don't even. No, no, and, and I know this is his uh, shit that he does try it, show, buddy. But look, Mike, give him a, Mike, give him a chance finish. to talk. Yep. Look, I went through a lot over the past couple of years, right? Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. to do a lot of things that I didn't think I, I could even possibly do. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I had the strength or courage to do it. And I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the biggest dogs on the platform here 
And I knew that there was a lot of people that were going to turn on me no matter what. And this audience here supported me. They made me believe in myself. And I just want to thank you and the audience here and the team, the whole H3 team. Are you serious? But specifically the audience. Yeah, they backed me up on a lot of stuff. Whoa. Well, I personally, I like, I, I think our fans are great too, but, but I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah Jeff, maybe. TJ. You know, look at him rolling his eyes. Go ahead, say it to him, Mike. You want to hop in this? Piggyback no. on this one? I'm not going to say that, dude. I mean, I, the audience has been great to me lately because I think they know me and you are a little. Yeah, but I, we're I good. Mean, He's Let, let's be polls. honest. I'm gonna be honest. I don't want to say this. I wasn't gonna He's fucking got do this. Smoked in the polls. No, no, no. Well, I didn't. well, I, well, well. I have the I have the updates because the first poll, uh, the best friend poll, we did a poll of the, our live audience for for who's my new bestie. Uh, by by vote here, I've got the stats. The first vote was a uh, resounding resounding win. What we don't have this the stats. Is not what for. I wanted to get. I don't want to brag first, about this. You know, it's just he started. Ab. Uh, the first poll, I believe it was 80 20. 80 20. Well, yeah. well, hold on. So, so there's. It doesn't before, matter. It doesn't no, no, matter. stop, stop. Before you go too far, in there favor was. Of Jeff. In favor yeah, of Jeff. best no, deal. It's not a big deal. There was some there was some fooling around going on on both polls. I want to say on the first poll specifically, FaZe Banks was randomly in, involved at the last moment. Because then. I, it's because No, Dan. stop. And I believe that he took a small portion of my voter base. Did like because a Ralph I, Nader you know, thing. Me and Banks share more of a voter base than Jeff and Banks. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you simply split the votes. Yeah. On the first one, and it showed in the second one, which okay, was so the second poll. It was just Jeff and Mike, narrowed quite a bit. Mike actually showed up strong, forty-eight percent. Well, that and is fifty-two percent. Jeff that is still won though, because you had this whole narrative that I don't like women driving, which oh, was uh, out it. of context. <laughs> no, no, this was out of context. I have a 1980 Silverado. It's forty-two years old. Mm -hmm. You ha it, it would have been anybody. I would have had to walk them down there, start the car for them, and you guys just clipped out this one part. And of course, they were having a good laugh, saying, "Oh, Jeff doesn't want yeah, women well, to Jeff drive." Jeff's plans. That's that. funny because that there was day. also, but there was also a, a large amount of, I, I think we call it gerrymandering after the fact as well. What did we call it? Political talking. How, how, what Fake news. Dumps. <laughs> there was a whole, there was a whole bunch of fooling around on that one too, and the, the vote was well, set. It was, in, it was in, in favor truth, of me. Yeah, in truth, Mike was winning, and then I corrected the record. I said, "This is out of context," you know. I don't think Jeff would would as would, a true BFF. Yeah, and so then the poll came back up, and just to be fair, but that that's basically where we're at. Yeah. Also, Jeff Wittick on WikiFee, just to set you guys up here. Actually, that's what I'm trying to see. How am I doing over there? Well, you're doing. Uh, <laughs> wow, they're updated. It's pretty good. Damn, you have some good foot shots. Yeah. <laughs> I had, I have ugly feet, man. You have a 4.1, but to be wow. honest, you might have a lot of one stars from our foot war days. Oh yeah, fair <laughs> enough. People you were at war. Hey, I deserve feet. it. I mean, I run too much. My feet. Mike. Were there oh, oh god. Oh wow, Logan. Got, <laughs> this, this, uh, Logan got absolutely bodied. Uh, no, that's Mike. Oh, no, that's this is Mike. Mike. Yeah, yeah sorry, Mike. buddy. Point four. I don't even have a page, so. My, you know, my feet are terrible. I have flat feet. Just but I'm you, just gonna give you five. And then pull up Tan. Tan, you probably have a great score. I don't know. Because sometimes my feet are, I, I let them look cute, and sometimes it's the polls. The, the guys, the the wiki feet. Watch women's. them have a better rating than me. No, it's very. No, you have a perfect score. Yeah, you have a. That was from yesterday. Damn. No, they dude, they're on their dude, shit. When we do a live show, if someone <laughs> flashes foot, it's up there immediately. Like no these people are way. so dedicated. But zoom in on the stars. Let me just see if there's a sliver missing. Yeah, look, there's a shot of me fighting. I don't even remember that. Yo, this appears to be dude, that is a, a perfect, perfect score. Perfect score how do they know my shoe size did they get it right yeah dude, these people are fucking animals dude it's crazy <laughs> you have a lot of votes too tana wait where do you see 657 <laughs> i see see that's nice and all but i have my own instagram page for my feet called hey big mike's feet swear to god yeah it's a, a fan, fan, page a fan running. i know yeah. deep down you're running that no i'm not i swear I to god no deep down you're running that. i don't do that my yeah. feet are terrible it's honestly me. It's me but you know what i want to say is like foot soldiers out there i you know i'm not on wiki feet but for my besties, you might want to go in there and share your opinion on their feet. And, you know, these besties. guys have nice feet. I appreciate that. Why don't yeah. you flash a little foot right now? What? Why don't you flash a little foot and get it on? It doesn't matter. I've been I've been banned. I'm permanently banned. Why? I was running fucking numbers on that website. I had like <laughs> 20,000 one-star reviews. Nobody could hold a candle to me. In fact, there was even certain points. <laughs> Mike. Hey, big Mike's feet. Yeah, he has see a, that one. He on was right. Look at those flippers, man. That's a real shot of your foot, bro. What the yeah, fuck? yeah, I have a medical condition. Uh -huh. I've I've plantar plantar fasciitis. Is that 
Can somebody? That's like a straight. That's just like an L. I know. It's, it's a big L, dude. It's hard to walk on. <laughs> Wait, can you make it bigger? Yeah, I definitely run this account. What in God's name? It's horrific, dude. Medical condition, it's huh? A medical condition. Dan, you want to make fun of that? Hell no. I would never. <laughs> All right, yes. Yeah, so. I just want to get things going. <laughs> yeah, you know? So anyway, it looks like your foot got run over by like a cartoon <laughs> car or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> just squeezed out like yeah. toothpaste out of the side of a All right, let's let's get to the the beef. Basically, we've got a lot going on between us. A lot of history, lots of ins, lots of outs. First of all, Mike or Jeff, my best friend Jeff, seems uh <laughs> to be chomping at the bit to say something to Dan. You guys have a historic conflict. You got you want you have something you want to tell Dan? No, I was just goofing around. I don't care. Uh, look, I'm here to make peace as well today. Speak your heart, though. Um, uh, no, I don't care about the eye jokes. Um, I like to lean into those myself. Mm -hmm. So kind of like the crane. <laughs> See, those jokes are fine with me. You know, it is what it is. Um, I don't want to get. All, I don't want to be the guy to start this all. You know, Dan, do you want to start it off? Maybe to get it going. Well, I don't know. Speak from your heart, guys. We're never going to resolve yeah, anything yeah, yeah. unless we're open and honest. I'm going to be open and honest right now. I, I, you, I don't know specifically what it is that you're upset about, Jeff, but I do feel like right off the bat we got off on the wrong foot because when you came on Frenemies that time on that infamous episode, I, I believe you confused me with another crew member because the first thing that you said was something about my TikTok account in kind of a sarcastic way. I'm not on TikTok, so I don't remember that. Your, your I beef may be like misdirected it, at, at the wrong crew member. It was, was it me. It was me, yeah. yeah you see, no way. I would never say that about AB. It's I, a man. Yeah. No? <laughs> I mean, yeah. So wait, you? I, we have a recalling that AB says at one point you wanted to fight AB. Well, this is, this is what Dan is talking about. Whenever he first called in, he said there's some room in that TikTok versus YouTubers boxing match, AB, if you want to get in there. But yeah, he thought I was Dan. Right. So yeah. so I feel like that that. Right off the bat, we were there was some confusion there about who was who and everything. So maybe today is the day to just hit the reset button. You are wearing a bank shirt, today. though, Dan. Oh, I thought you, you really were going to say maybe today's the day to get in the <laughs> ring. I, I like the reset button. Let's yeah. do that. You like um, that better? Because we do have a ring set up downstairs. Yeah. I mean, I'm down. I am down to no, no. Let, 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 <laughs> you I you almost got ring. a good one. I, I wanted to you get to this got. stuff a little later. Yeah. Let's talk. Um, I was hoping we could maybe touch on Tanacon and then maybe do a deep dive in the NFT <laughs> and then we'll get to the uh, stuff I, later on. I'm sure we're going once we oh, warm up. Oh man. All right. How so long is this fucking podcast? <laughs> uh, we're just getting started. <laughs> we're, uh, we're prisoners. This is basically just the tip. <laughs> Try to leave. The doors are just blocked. Yeah, it's okay. blocked from the outside. Uh, yeah. We were talking about having There's a no walk off on the way. Oh, we might still have it. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Let's throw it to a quick break. We've got one ad. We'll, we'll thank them and we'll be right back. Thank you to Harry's Razors. Back to school. Wedding season. Hol holiday prep. We're all cutting it close this season as we go straight from one thing to another. And with incredibly sharp razors that refill just in the nick of time, Harry's is the official sponsor of Cutting It Close. I love Harry's, man. Besides it being a great deal, these razors cut. I'll tell you what, I've had one in my shower for months and it still works good. You, I, I swear to God, I just I don't use it for months. I just shaved the back of my head. Because I'm a hairy freak right back here. For months, this thing stays uh, stays sharp. It's got this beautiful, weighty handle. I mean, it's really the best deal. It's the best deal in the game. For women, too, Ela uses it on her leg. Work good for everything. Not just for guys. Hey, check this out. Right now, you can get Harry's starter set for just three bucks. Plus, you'll get a free travel size body wash that includes a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. That's a $16 value just for three bucks. For three bucks, you can see what I'm talking about at harrys.com slash h3. That's harrys.com slash h3. No matter how busy things get, stay fresh with Harry's. Get your Harry's starter set today, and you'll also get a free travel sized body wash. Just go to harrys.com slash h3. That's harrys.com slash h3. You guys are going to love this blade. Thank you to our sponsors and thank you to everybody who supports our sponsors. Thank you. Thank you with peace and love. Well, I want to do a segment here, guys, where we squash the beef. Literally and symbolically. We have here today 
a giant vice and also big slabs of meat that I want to squash with you guys, okay? Yeah, bring it out, please. Bring out the vi the, vi the vice. Vice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I want to go over some of our historic beefs that we had together. Have you and I ever beefed? Like, I feel no, like it just kind no, of been you, like, just that's exactly beating right. me. <laughs> that's exactly what it has been. Yeah. yeah no, you've never, yeah. I don't think you've ever said a bad thing about me. Dan just yeah. bashes my skull in with this from behind. <laughs> right. Yeah, you remember Goodfellas? <laughs> a fucking head in the vice, Charlie M. Oh, yeah. Did you want to do something with the uh, casino? You, you, you got the. <laughs> you made me pop your fucking eye out of your head for Charlie M. Charlie, Charlie M, that piece of shit. <laughs> We're here with an olive branch. We've had too many problems in the oh. past. Mm. The North and South has been divided. <laughs> We've had all kinds of problems, but today we put those problems in a vice. Yes. I know it was you, Fredo. Once and for all. Oh, gloves? Okay. Wow, oh, interesting. That was a really good Godfather impression. How do you feel about that, Ethan? Well, uh, yeah, not good, honestly. I don't like it. <laughs> maybe, don't, maybe don't do that again, right? <laughs> Keep a lid on that, okay? And AB, maybe turn off your mic too while you're at it. We don't need you. We don't need you adding any uh, commentary. Thank you. So, um, so here we have big slabs of meat. Okay. Do you guys get shit from the vegan community when you do stuff like this? I think because you, you guys, because so. you guys stress it. out about the communities, don't you? Like the individual Listen, communities. Yeah, we can't partake in this. We're not. No, I can't. I don't give a fuck, water. dude. But like, I'm just saying. Like, do you? I, 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 Like, do you think like Veggie Grill is gonna drop you as a sponsor? <laughs> I don't have any. I don't have many sponsors Beyond left these days. Beyond me is out. Um. um so, I, I suspect some people get mad about this, but you know, I eat meat. Like Liver King, would you ever? Would you ever? What if we use the meat that you put in this, and we symbolically eat? We it? can eat it. Can we make a. Burger? I think that would because I, I would eat the it. Thing that's going to piss off the community that's is if you waste, waste it. it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Or let's, just, the, or let's just at least say we're going to eat it. Okay. You know what I mean? Montreal. So we'll put some Montreal steak on it. Have you cleaned the vice? No. Oh yeah, probably not. Because they there's probably metal shards <laughs> in there for sure. Dude, I've ingested my share of toxins. <laughs> yeah. Um. What's your craziest uh, drug story, Mike? Well, we set this up. There's just so many, man. Like Steve-O so told us many. one where he snorted blood. I mean, mine's really, mine's, I have a really sad, like, rock bottom, but it's just really sad. Yeah. Like, I don't want to bum out your audience. No, I don't want to hear that one. It involved, like, my dying grandfather, and yeah, I was, like, no. smoking crack in the, yeah. You were smoking crack when your grandpa was on, like, his deathbed next to him? Same room? No. Oh, oh okay. no. That's horrifying. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, oh. it's just like. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, this just is pretty down tempo stuff. It's like my rock bottom. We talk about it as like a moment. That was the moment where I realized I had to get my life together. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, cool. Sorry that happened. You want me to find a better? <laughs> you want me to find a better one? Like about <laughs> acid at like a festival or something? Like, All right, fun well, one. Well, hold on to that thought. Save it for your second book or something. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're all queued up here. So. What beef is this? This is a uh, looks like a, a nice God. cut, yeah, honestly. Cut. Yeah. Oh no, I was saying what specific. Beef? So let's we're gonna start with I guess uh, here Tana. Okay. So I'm gonna take these. This is pretty gross. Sorry. <laughs> it's actually Bless quite your heart. quite disgusting. Um, I love it here. <laughs> so Tana, I'm gonna start with you. Ours is pretty light, like you noted. Yeah, and I'll I just think you just called me like a super spreading, face tuning, like idiotic <laughs> hooker. I never called you a hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's back it up. Now, I, I think you're right. A lot of it has been uh, me just uh, insulting you. And I, I don't think you've ever said a bad thing about me. And so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a hater ass bitch. Honestly, it feels great to hear. But I will say that I've definitely done my fair share of dumb things. So I'm no stranger to people uh, commentating on that. You know, you were pretty wild okay. during back in the day during like, you know, the iDubs thing or whatever. Oh, yeah. But it seems like these days you're really for the past several years, you're kind of just uh, doing your own thing in a good way. You're not really ruffling any feathers. or Maybe I'm not paying attention enough. I like to ruffle the smaller feathers now, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. low hanging fruit, if you will. I try to I try to um, stay out of things, you know, but mm -hmm. I'm here today to. <laughs> Ruffles. I don't There's, fucking well, I mean, know. you gotta remember her like core activity zone is OnlyFans. Yeah. Which, yeah. and that, I, my core activity? I mean, that's where you do the majority of your like lifting, right? And it's like, so like, there's what not do you mean, really. Financially? Fin I mean, do you, do you produce a lot of content for other channels besides 
Oh, effing. I guess TikTok, YouTube, my podcast. Yeah, that, ma- yeah, that makes sense. Okay, but no, but- no, no. I'm actually just an OnlyFans whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but that's the majority of your income, right, at this point? That's where I was going. Kinda. Thank you. Yeah, so it's your focus. It's yeah. not the, I mean, it's one of my main sources of mm-hmm, revenue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just meant like they're not like. I was just. What is it you're trying well, to say well, exactly? Did we really leave? I just, I just, what I was getting at was like, there's no way to really be problematic on only. When your mind, yeah. You do you know what I'm? Do you get what I'm? Well, that's like, not actually true because uh, I've seen some shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. But has it has it like induced like a sponsor pulling fucking? Well, you're already episode? on OnlyFans. What are they gonna do? I mean, the sponsors not, already been yeah. pulled. Hey, whoa, I bet whoa, you there's whoa, some. Whoa. I bet you there's some people that do. You you do both. Mm. You, you do both. Yeah. You do sponsors. You could do like yeah. a, a. I'm not gonna say a, com- a company right now because they're not paying. But like you could do sponsorships and OnlyFans. Just I, no, no. I'm saying it's when the people are paying you, they're they're the ones in charge, and uh, they're not gonna leave you. You can get sponsors and do OnlyFans. Yeah, it's I not like yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like you're yeah. doing anything. So let's. Yeah. So so I think the the big one that comes to mind uh, with us, Tana. Is when I called you a Twinkie, okay? Oh, oh, I forgot about that. And a lot of people bring that up, and actually Trisha br- would bring that up quite a bit to me. Uh, <laughs> and so what I wanted to do is basically just apologize. Can we not? You. What is this? Well, this is yeah. Oh, you oh. were, you were coming at my neck. This was with, the, there was an old photo of me looking really awful, and then the face tune, and then I guess people were saying you were fat shaming me. Let's take a look at it, and then we can destruct it. And is, deconstruct is there a it. reason you started at that exact frame, or you know, yeah. you know, this link was handed to me? Got it. So but whatever's on the TV at question. this moment is is out of my control. I was actually thinking about if you were gonna bring this up or not on here, and then um, I was like, I'll just get naked on H three and prove it now. Hey, oh, you're willing to do that for us? Yeah. Okay, good. Just, yeah. So I I have no control over what's on the TV. Guys, what's going on here? Yeah. Getting me involved in new stuff. I think it's a photo of <laughs> me looking with an olive branch, not a not looking for <laughs> World War Three. All right, no, no, let's move it on. Oh damn, Tanner. Oh, this one's so bad. Smart, Mike. Oh, oh peace. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I can't what believe it's me? the same day. She looks like a Twinkie. <laughs> that I just wait, Tana. I'm con- sorry. Yeah, look at that. Oh, she's, she's fit. Thin and mi- she's thin beautiful. Slim. Iconic. That was a bad. Hey, listen, you know, I'm, no. <laughs> you know I, I, the video was um, Instagram versus reality, and I was just going over all the top posts from that. To be subreddit. fair, I think that day. I mean, I don't know. It's not a good one. Yeah, sorry, but <laughs> all I, of our I, moments. I did call you a Twinkie. So <laughs> you called me a Twinkie. Hey, hey, just it was really just the color of the swimsuit. Yeah, I think I know? needed to hit the gym, and I think that I had a no, rough day. Your body day. is is beautiful and perfect the way it was then and now. Just throwing this out there. Do you know uh, the I one agree. food that would t- survive a uh, nuclear holocaust? A Twinkie. Correct. So, like, and by the way, I guess he was the nuclear holocaust. What, you, what does that say about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's just yeah. a powerful food, man. It's yeah. a great snack. It's definitely it's giving healthy, bad right? angles, a lot of face tune. It's filled with preservatives. I don't okay. know, man. Oh, yeah. Since then, I've hit the gym a lot, and I face tune a lot less. You want to? Do you have a daughter? Food? No, I have two boys. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have <laughs> kids then. Been... I didn't have kids then. But um, yeah. sitting here across from you, I do want you to know that to there's be nothing honest, wrong with you? this body. You're beautiful. Well, I mean, no, at the time, I yeah. definitely was not a fan of even remote. This was years ago. I very was, old. Very, very old. long time yeah, ago. I don't even old. think I'd reached, like, internet real, like, clout yet. And then that was when people were kind of coming out. And then I definitely got a lot of injections and went to the gym a lot. But How, um, did, that comment, <laughs> how did that comment make you feel, Tana? How did it make me? Yeah. I mean... At the time, I definitely didn't like you, and I think yeah, it was yeah, coming yeah, from yeah, you, I and I was kind of like, eh, fuck that. Yeah. Right? I mean, I don't know. But did it hurt you? Did it, like, push you into, like, a frenzy or anything like I that? I should say yes, so that it could, like, you'd look like speak a your shit mind, person. You know, and baby, da, 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 da. Yeah, speak your mind. I really think that you, I don't know. You just weren't on my radar at that point in time. I was, I was more scared or hurt by times when you would kind of come for me for things I was doing wrong. I felt like this was just what, like, like the a... Tanacon stuff on the podcast. Yeah, or, I guess yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. But well, I mean, listen, I was ready to show up here in a bikini today. Just to oh, my right. God. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Did you really think about doing that? Uh, no, I, well, I was just thinking about things you'd come at my neck for, like face tune or listen, this is this is I wouldn't honestly, well, I'm happy to I, not I'm look very anything over. Like that now. I would never make fun of a woman's appearance like this. At well, you time, did. 
I know, and I'm very sorry. I right. Sh- I shouldn't have done I, that. I definitely think that I can think about a lot of girls who couldn't take it. You know what I mean? Like, I've been called everything under the sun. I've been made fun of for, like, every thing across my career but imagine like that your like, thoughts are right on it but it but, but like let's pull away from this situation specifically for a second and look at a, a more macro view mm-hmm. of like bullying on the internet in general like like we've reached a we've kind of reached like a apex and like a time of inf- an inflection point with bullying on the internet right now like people are are people being pussies yeah or are people or are people that are saying people are pussies just overlooking the fact that people are actually hurt by other people's comments, right? And so I think this is like yeah. a, discu- a m- more macro well, discussion, right? I, I lean more on the side of, uh, in general, people are not just being pussies, you know? Uh, but but what I messed up here is the video was like Instagram reality, and a lot of people appreciated yeah. it because it was like and body acceptance. But where I fucked up is I shouldn't have made fun of like, I, I kind of lost my... Lost my what did Trisha say? Saying, like, what was Trisha saying at the time? Just whenever she wanted to uh, use something against me or prove that I hate women or something, she would just say, you, you called me Dan- Dana Dwinky. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think you motivated me even at, the, I think at the time that you called me and I was at a good body, but I, you know. I'm very sorry. I should mm-hmm. not admit it. The point I think what I was trying to make is was valid because of, that's why I didn't feel bad. But going after your body was was too far. So wait, so it, was worked, though, even though, it even, pushed you to be better. Well, I think by by the time he had called me this, I was at like like I looked great. I was happy with my body. But I mean, like you know, now I can see myself being on the treadmill and thinking like, fuck, I don't want to be, I don't want to be a Twinkie ever. Again. <laughs> I mean, it is funny. That's the thing. The Twinkie uh, thing was kind of like why not like a ho ho or like another a hostess, like a different hostess treat. You know, yodels. It's the, it's Remember the color yodels. Of the, the fucking, but it's exactly the know, Twinkie man. color. Do you remember Yodels though? Uh, can you guys pull up Yodels? No, I don't. I think they're one of the better ones. What else have you come at my neck so for? So anyway, apologies for that. You know, I think you're saying, yeah, I know. I shouldn't have said that. I I'm going to go take this. I don't want to comment on this one. Anybody's waiting. I feel like a bird. Um, I do feel bad about making fun of your weight. But do you ever think that people maybe do things like that because of comments that you made like that. The people that there are insecure girls out there that Mm -hmm. do try to uphold a certain image because of comments like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think it was a bad, it was bad. And I don't really make, I wouldn't really do that today. Make that comment. I don't think. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. (laughs) Live and you learn. (laughs) Live and you learn. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think at the time it I just always knew you like hated me. So I think that was just one of the like million comments that you'd probably You know, that's about. one of the things that I regret too is I don't really hate I of course I don't hate you at all, you know. I love how we're just discussing this with like this nasty ass. Yeah, well, in front of It's us. important to keep in the context why we're here. Yeah. Um, you know, I I never hated you at all and and uh what do you think made you like that in that era of time? And I mean, obviously, there was a lot of it that was very valid. You know, you were coming at people for doing a lot of wrong and stuff. And that was good, you know, like to have someone on the Internet who's polarizing, kind of calling people mm-hmm. out for being shitty people. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the like hating, just straight up hating comments towards people. Like, what do you think made you like that? Well, I don't were think I did much side? like random hating. I think I took really? it too far in the terms of like, talking about your body i took it too far no i don't just mean me but i'm saying i think at the time you know i honestly don't know i mean from my whole time on uh youtube was uh calling people out for one reason or another and it became like a whole industry of videos on on youtube where it's like and even today still exists of like call out videos or reaction videos or whatever and um you know, I think it was just part of the trend at the time to do that. But looking back, obviously, as I've spent more time on the Internet and matured and have like, I think now a more, I would say, just woke, quote unquote, audience. And I myself am more woke, just to use kind of an annoying word uh, that that uh, I'm I'm a lot more careful with uh, what I say about people. Well, one of the differentiators with you, too, that you know, kind of separates you from other people in that space that do commentary and do reaction videos is you wield a massive fucking army, bro. And so like, you know, what's that saying? With great power comes great responsibility, right? (laughs) Spider-Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you ever, do you feel like you need to be a little bit more cautious about what you say? Because one, because one thing that, that 
I'm very cautious of, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in some respect that my good friend Logan Paul has taught me is mm -hmm. to be very careful in, in when you speak in absolutes, mm -hmm. when you say very specific absolute statements that leave no room for wiggle based like, on a person's uh, personal. Like uh, Nope was the worst movie I've ever seen. That was a take. <laughs> but, but listen, but in, in his, <laughs> he, he had created this list, this hit list of, of reasons <laughs> to back it up. You know? that was and, and, and listen, yeah. at the end of the day, like you, you have subjective opinions, right? But like, do, do you feel like you have to be a little bit more cautious than the average uh, podcast? I, I, or... I, I know this probably won't, maybe you guys don't believe it, but I feel like my whole career, I have been more restrained and careful than other people and only gone after people that I think deserved it. Now, like, I don't know if you can give me a specific example of stuff that you guys think maybe I went too far on and then I can reflect on it. Uh, I'm, I'm, go ahead. I'm just, well, are we no. just going to get there anyways? Like, uh, I feel like you're probably going to get us there anyways, right? Yeah. I mean, now's the time. You dive right into my situation yeah. with you? Yeah. Um, at the time, it was rough. Yeah, I hated you. But did I go? I mean, we, we, you obviously had like a, a rough interview, right? Yeah. And there was a reason I was pressing. There, it was kind of like an issue that we needed to get to the heart yeah. of. But I think with you, I've been, you know, I've, I, I have a lot of empathy for you. I liked you as a person. And that's why we're here today. Yeah. I saw that and so, I, I, yeah. I, under, I can understand from your perspective, it was probably a painful and difficult to deal with, like, the receiving end of that much Well, negativity. I willingly came on the show because I felt I had nothing to hide. I'm mm -hmm. not ashamed of anything. Yeah. And I said, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Was I in the right state of mind at the time? No. Yeah. I had, you know, I was in and out of surgery, on meds. And it's, you're asking me about a situation three years ago, now five. I don't remember what I said about Dan or AB on, you know. So yeah, I wasn't prepared for that type of thing. And I felt like I was the kid in making a murderer, you know? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Good, yeah, yeah. And I tried to talk to you about it afterwards, and there was no door for us to even have that conversation. Yeah, well, I, I, at that point, I wasn't really sure what... To, I don't think it was unfair, though, necessarily. Because on one hand, I appreciated that you were willing to, like, come on the show mm -hmm. and put yourself out there. I mean, no one else would do that. And so I believe that you earnestly... Uh, at this you point, honestly... You showed me a picture that I was at a party. yeah. And that was the hard hitting, okay, Ethan, you know, yeah, 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 done, yeah, yeah. judge, fucking, you know. So, yeah, I was, I was hurt at that time. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you, you were going after something bigger. And I was dealing with something that I hadn't even, I was covering up. You know, I hadn't said anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. Right. The second Trisha started going, talking about that, I had just got so nervous that that was going to come out because that's my whole life. It's the most right. embarrassing moment of my life. Mm hmm. And now I was going to let the internet control the narrative. I wasn't going to have a say in my story. So that's why I, I was... We, we never brought it up, though, before you, did we? She did on the show, yeah. She did bring it up? Mm -hmm. The first time I ever heard about it was from her. Mm -hmm. And uh, it kind of blew my mind when I found out about like the whole David and the excavator thing. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I'm happy that came out. Because if I bottled that up inside forever, I'd being living in hell so know? thanks to trisha maybe thank you to trisha. for my situation i don't regret anything <laughs> you know yeah but for somebody i don't think we're ready to squash tannis beef yet i think but you do <laughs> forgive me for the twinkie comment um I, I don't i mean forgive sure i don't i people do that does it make me look at you as a different kind of person maybe a little bit yeah does okay, it, you know, a little resolution. But I'm, but I'm sure that you look at me as a bad person. No, I don't. I, pr I swear, I don't. So, um, that's what I. That's ahead. what annoys me about my whole th shtick is that like we the, the same thing happened with Ninja, and that's what started the whole redemption, uh, uh, hater ass bitch, uh, uh, metamorphosis. Yeah. There was there was that clip of Ninja being like, I know Ethan hates me, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, that's fucking sucks, dude, because I don't hate him at all. I like Ninja. We, I just think we don't give a fuck it's about hard. Ninja. No, We're no, here no. today to well, talk about. I'm just saying just that I have in our friendship yeah. and squashing our. Yeah, people. no, I'm just saying that that I do. That I have that effect where people think I hate them. And I well, I mean, it's easy. It would be easy yeah. to mistake that. I mean, you you have some some really rough takes on a lot of stuff, and yeah. and a lot of stuff that you say is is dividing and polarizing and, yes. and hurtful. Yes. But but 
the the issue that I've had and the, the reason I try to be cautious when I talk about other people on the internet is because at the end of the day, you don't know any of us in any meaningful way. You could watch every clip under the sun. You could hear about every excavator, Tanacon, crypto scam under the sun. On, yeah. No, well, no, I'm just dropping them, right? <laughs> and at the end of the day, until you meet us and you have a conversation with us, you understand our, vulner our yeah. vulnerabilities, our, our pain points, our anxieties, mm -hmm. our depressions, our stressors, our, we're j normal people just like you are. Yeah. You have your problems. And that's why I can I could never, it's harder for me. And I've definitely had my share of stuff to say, and I'm sure we'll get into it. Yeah. But it's why it's, I try now to be very cautious about how I talk about other people because I don't know exactly what the fuck is going on in their life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but there needs to be room for criticizing people's actions without, but that, I think that's the problem. My disconnect is like, I criticize people's actions. I don't hate, I actually don't hate them at all. I think it starts to blend and transition. I think you're completely right by saying, yo, I have a proven reason why this person did something and that, and that thing was wrong and that deserves my, but, uh, she, but for the record, Tana did nothing wrong. I made rude comments. You right. did nothing to, so that's an. So am I the only person you've ever done that to, or do you think you had an era where you? <laughs> to be may honest, or may not have... I don't think there's a lot of people I made fun of for without like any looks. provocation. Damn! So I was just like an. Easy uh, you may have been just been. Uh, Look, you fell into this video, right? This Instagram. No, I've reality. seen it. So I understand. I think in my mind, I justified it because I was like, well, what she's doing is like negatively affecting women and beauty standards and stuff. And so I, you, I get this like enemy mentality where it's like, they're the enemy. <laughs> there it is. There and it it's is. All, and I can fucking say whatever I want about them within reason, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have been worse than that. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you have been. <laughs> yeah. But, but you know what? I don't know. Do you guys think if I, uh, I want hello get people it all out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, these, these are <laughs> so they have Team Tana yeah. shirts. Yeah. Out. Yeah. yeah. Ask speak the Team up. Tana. Everyone's Team Tana. On you. Speak up. No. If you know the show, half the show is us arguing with Ethan. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Even though he pays us, he, he is also, open to criticism. He's open to pushback, which and, is awesome. Uh, and which we is do. really awesome. I will say. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we brought all this meat out. Uh, we need we, you to be sorry. We haven't squashed a we damn haven't. thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even one crank on that bit. I just hope Getting you know cold. that I'm not here seeking any sort of apology for anything that you've said. I'm indifferent. I'm just, I'm yeah, here for the vibes, you know? Yeah, vibes only. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Speaking for ourselves, it, this is a rare case because we are social media people. We don't give a fuck. We're desensitized to a lot of this stuff, especially Tana. Yeah. Speaking for Tana, not all yeah. women, just you. You have a, you know, you joke around a lot about yeah. yourself you're very self-deprecating oh, yeah. so it's hard to compare you to other people but we're here today to squash our beef yeah yeah, you yeah, know, yeah we're not trying to change the world yeah 100 percent. yeah so I'm here to have a conversation i just like having a conversation too yeah, so do you guys I have just want to see this thing. yeah we're, oh, we're, yeah, getting, there. we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there but mine, mine yeah, honestly so. I'm, mine feels light too dude like i feel like there's not really that you actually have a fat you have the fattest chunk of it yeah yeah you got a big old chunk oh awesome. damn i walked into an ambush my bad mike <laughs> No, it's not an ambush. We're squashing. But anyway, oh, I'm no. sorry. No, Could you mind cranking that if 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 it's in your heart to squash I, it? I, our beef is squashed. I don't really care to touch that. You want to you want to put? I have a glove. Do you want to put I'll on do a glove to do it? I'll do it for yeah, you kind of. It's important. Do you, after, right? It's important Symbolic. you do it. Yeah. Oh, you have fat uh, nails on. Maybe oh. Tana, you all right, Tana, you Tana, you want me to handle this? You give me the okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tana's let's, giving me the okay have, to handle let's her beat. Daddy Jeff, do it for me. No, no, Tana, Tana, you have to. Oh. You have to. Yeah, I mean, you really do have to. What did I sign up for? Today? How just do you one do half crank. You just lift it up and then just twist it that way, okay? And there you go. Could you maybe lift it forward too and just? <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> I mean, it's... you want me to handle the rest of this here? Woo! The whole revolution of it. <laughs> but also, Jeff, just one revolution. That's what our. You're a yeah, man. there you go. There you go. That's enough. That's yeah. enough. Ugh. Well, yeah. we're getting there. You want to just blow that one up? I think we do new beat for each. Okay, go ahead. You can smash it. Jeff, come on. We gotta. I gotta watch this thing 15 it fucking times. Crazy. Hey, Peter. Peter, Jeff did this, not me. This is all Jeff. No going back to beat squash. Hey, do you want your notes in that GoPro video? Just curious. You could see the doc. Well, that's. I don't know if you care. This is like the kind of stuff I. Well, yeah, no, no, I don't want it in there. So turn yeah. your computer a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that's uh, usually Dan will tell me that. All right, so let's yay. take a look here. Done deal. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Done deal. Someone told Sorry, Dan. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's take a look at what. The, oh, it's what disgusting, dude. It's, it's, it's kind of the idea, but. So okay. 
Uh, the other thing was, you know, on Frenemies, we, we had talked about you a couple of times. Um, and uh, who? again, <laughs> me? You know, yeah, you. We're still on you. Thank God, right? Yeah. Yo, these were some wild Ethan days, And this was bro. the crazy. Yeah, this shit was pretty nuts. Would you shave your brows off? Yeah, I was hair. Yeah, wow, that's dope. I did some kind of costume where I shaved it all off. Oh, I talked about this with Trisha a little bit on. Yeah, but her standpoint is kind of that you, you were the coercer, no, oh into my these God. conversations and me. I don't. That I'm just relaying. Well, let's just watch. I, I saw she did something. People were calling out for photoshopping over the weekend. And you know what? Can I just say, as much as I was like against your video, I mean, she really does overdo it because I did see the side by side from this weekend. <laughs> Because she had to come out with a statement being like, hey, I always do talk about this. And she does. She talks about photo. But it was like that. Okay. The pictures you showed were actual ones. If you went to my Fabio music video plug and saw it, I'm like wearing that makeup and it looks like me in the video. But like when it's unrecognizable. She's a different person. Okay. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm like, sorry about you, that. Like, <laughs> what I'm saying was Twinkie, which is rude. I don't want to say that. I Did mean, I am, I've am. i sold but shirts again. that say Facetune. You know, I'm very open yeah, about yeah, Photoshopping yeah, yeah. and so on and so forth. I don't, I, I'm definitely not as crazy with it now because it's like been caught up now and again. I've had a great time doing it. I don't know. But everybody, doesn't everybody to some extent Photoshop? Everyone really? like, and, and their and mother. Like the, the Instagram yeah, community. I'm not talking about like. So does Trisha. That's yeah, why yeah, I yeah. was Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, But I mean. I, you know what, I, you know, uh. I think what's good about you- I try to you, throw in a video now and again, you know, right. I want people to know it's me. Wouldn't want to be unrecognizable. Yeah, you know what? I, did, I don't, I think what's good about you is that you say you do it, right? That's important so people know yeah. that that's what's going Everybody on. Everybody does it. Yeah. You know? Do you Photoshop, Ethan? No, Have I've never Photoshopped my- uh, my face. Because you look Maybe better now than you did there. There, bro. You really? Like well, I have gone no, through some shit. The no, I look like shit there, dude. Is it because you were still with Trey? Was, was that a stressful time for you, like doing those episodes? Because I remember there was always <laughs> some crazy shit going on, bro. <laughs> That's a you great know what? Question. You know what? It didn't feel like it at the time, but coming out of it, it was pretty. In, <laughs> it was pretty insane. I mean, the way it ended was totally fucking nuts. In, so. Bro, I'm sitting I in mean, my house <laughs> and I start seeing this stuff come out, and I'm and now keep in mind. This is at a time when I'm, we're at war, bro. Right. Like this is during a really rough time. Yeah. So I start seeing this stuff and I'm like, whoa, dude, this, ugly this, this ship is going down fast, bro. Wait. Does she still, does she still command a, no, a Navy or an army? Because when you guys were together, I felt her power surge. Like, dude, she was, she would just point, get yeah. them. And yeah. 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 Was yeah. The, so were those, those foot soldiers that were coming from the H3 army to, to aid? Because now it seems like, does she still wield the same Zeus-like capabilities? No, she doesn't. But to be honest with you, she's been pretty mellow. Since yeah, that's got, great. No good. Since she got, she got pregnant, I don't think she really talked any shit about anyone. That's good. To I give her credit. Yeah. To give Do her you credit. ever foresee being cool with Trisha again? You know what? <sighs> I hate to, there's some stuff that I just don't want to say publicly, but I'll just say this. I don't actually hate Trisha. Like, I understand her. She's a complicated person. Yeah. In retrospect, looking back at that show, I realized that there was a lot of stuff that she said that I, I just trusted and believed everything she said, which maybe wasn't the way Smart. to do it. <laughs> but the only way to do that show was to just go, like, you can't yeah. really like push back on her right. or you can't you just have to like go along for the ride kind of is that hard for you wait you wife? said i do do photoshop dan what do i do what do i photoshop <laughs> oh hell no <laughs> hold on oh Sorry. i didn't photoshop that, that Someone is else that did. real oh that's not real was that originally a that's real naked photo oh. show that i i yeah when james charles posted his ass i did uh I posted my ass. A remake and, of it. And, yeah. But but I don't know what the hell. <laughs> How do you feel when people come at you with the oh he's fat, fat I don't shame give a fuck. and you don't give a fuck, huh? I now I never said anything like that. I would never talk about. You know what? And but it's fine because I say so much vile shit about people. Uh, but that but I still so lazy it's fair game. It's a lazy comeback. It is especially. I I just think it's kind of funny when you're like trying to ha make a have a valid like kind of conversation about something. And it's just like, oh, he's fat. Oh, he's a fat ass. Yeah. Look at him, he's a troll. That just yeah. says you lost when you do that. Like when somebody says that. The biggest one was uh, when uh, I uh, erased my Jordan Peterson episodes. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Of course. Yeah. And there was like a whole conservative meltdown where it was just like, he's fat. 
<laughs> it was that was like the whole end oh, yeah. environment. That was body. Their yeah, yeah, basically. And so there's this thing, fat uh yeah, fat man bad, strong man good, basically is what it comes down to. But <laughs> I don't I don't mind it. It's fine. Yes. <laughs> Um, Yo, why is he? Let's can I ask you a question? This may be this I, may be out of line too quickly. It, is, and I like, it, am I wrong for saying this? Why is he always crying? He's he's very it, unstable. You are not wrong for no, no, and that's question. what I didn't want you to say. He that, is. Okay, what what are the about? That why? Yes. Because I the feel man like is I not well. Cry. I'm holding it back a lot of times too. But he he's not well, dude. It just he cries like, about Pinocchio and shit. He but literally. He's like, but he's like the voice. He's like the the mouthpiece of a whole movement. Like, how could they? He's, he's got a lot of he's got he, he, a lot of t good like solid stuff to say though too. Like he's not wrong on everything. He definitely says some interesting well, stuff. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Can, can I would love to talk about Jordan? Here he is crying. He, he yeah. He he just watched uh, Pinocchio and he just thought, man, he's just he he's just wanted really him to be a real boy. Like well, I didn't mean that in a mean way. Like I was honestly genuinely curious, like why that always happens. Yeah. He's. His brain is fucking melted from Xanax. Like I said, I'm not involved in any of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, now you are. Now, so shout out. <laughs> anyway, so let's let's try to keep it focused here. Uh, uh, Tana. So basically, and then the TanaCon thing. I talked a lot about it, but you know, do you, do you hold any uh, any grudge for the TanaCon thing? I mean, everyone was kind of talking about that. Do I hold a grudge? She, or, or how do you feel about it? How do I feel? Uh, do you mean your commentary? Or yeah. Do you mean uh, yeah. My feelings on, I think that if you're going to hold a convention and it's going to fail publicly, people, I mean, I've spoken on this, I've been yeah. on this dead horse. Yeah, yeah. It's um, old, old stuff. I Probably anything you said about TanaCon was very valid. You okay. Know? Um, let's I, watch I, this clip. I thank think, God. Yeah, let's see. Just, what yeah. Is, why does she exist? No, but so my commentary oh. is so over the fucking top here. I watched this back a little bit yesterday and I was like, dude, that's fuck. I'm just a monster, dude. I should be a hater ass bitch <laughs> that is like, I mean, just listen to this. And I'm sorry in advance. Why is she popular? Hey guys, it's Tana. Sorry. You know what's so stupid about like, YouTube? <laughs> like she, like they complete, I know, I haven't ran about YouTube, but I don't, fuck it. I don't give a shit. Who are you talking to? Why is it? I don't know. Okay. That YouTube will not even bat an eye at me or iDubbbz or any of my friends that actually have, I'm not going to say they have talent. They deserve shows. Why the fuck is it always Tana mm. and people like her who are actually not only the lowest character, oh, but frankly, sorry. criminals? Hater, bro. You hate sound like a hater. Thing, yeah, thing, yeah. No, for sure. I am a low like character a, criminal. Yeah, so, so but basically, <laughs> Hello, like, the take me away. The Arrest comments me. are really, the, the, you know, looking back. Well, to, comments don't affect me. I mean, come on. If comments affected me, I wouldn't still be doing this. I... You know, shouldn't have had that convention, eh? You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The beard but was I, looking I good in those days, dude. Thanks, bro. It, yeah. It, 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 yeah. You look super great. Lined up. Yeah, I was skinny. Swing. A lot skinnier. <laughs> but you know what yeah. changed is I was super depressed and anxious. I think that was made me a little more angrier. And since then I started, you know, antidepressants. And it's made me very fucking fat. What, what do you... Can you? But it's help, helped a lot. Can you say what you take? Yeah, Lexapro. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I'm very familiar with Lexapro. I've taken Lexapro, Effexor, everything under the sun. Yeah, I've tried everything. Honestly, I've been looking at going back to my. Lexapro has works great for me, but it's it, I've gained like 80, 70, it's that 80 does pounds. That too. So I don't know. It's hard. It's a does it work thing. on both problems for you? Like the depression? Dude, I feel yeah, it's a huge difference, man. Nice. Huge it's a conversation we'll have to have after this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a huge proponent of. Uh, of Medication. antidepressants yeah. and in general if needed right yeah and just, psychiatry and do, you, do you do your ther like your therapy too and stuff like that. i did a lot of therapy i'm not currently in therapy i just meet with my psychiatrist like once a month i get shamed for bringing this up on any show i bring it up on mm -hmm. not shamed but like people people that aren't in the space like and don't get it like don't want to hear about it but lately i've been thinking about potentially starting like a platform that's more focused on it or or just like even just like a community that's more focused on it because yeah it's a big conversation. I, I'm I'm really open about my problems with yeah. uh, me, you know mental illness and psychiatry because there's there was like a stigma for a long time even on my myself where it's like antidepressants are like being oversubscribed uh, prescribed and nobody actually needs them. That's like one thing, and then the other thing is like you know in your own mind you feel weak for taking it, and it's just such bullshit because it honestly it damn near saved my life dude taking that shit. So yeah, it's good. and it's good that you difference. talk about that. Yeah. I I don't even know that. I agree with like over prescribed, but I think one of the, sorry, Jeff, 
for just a quick thing. I think one of the biggest issues. Why do you apologize? No, uh, just because he wants to keep moving. I want like to the, talk sometimes, but I just know that you know once he's going, he's going. He took that he, Joe Rogan brain pill before this, and is I, that what happened? No, no, no. I just know he yeah, wants to stay happened. on the beef. Stuff. You just took one Alpha Brain. I, just do I gave him joke. one loose pill, like because he, he didn't want he wanted me to bring the whole bottle. Oh and, my God. And he just took it, no questions asked, just pop it down. All right, let's move. No, we'll move on from that. I, the reason I say is because if people that see, like, she'll start texting, he'll drift off into the fucking. <laughs> Listen, you know, no, I could talk mental health. Work. I was going to chime in and say, yeah, I think it's great that we're talking about it. I never, I got into this business to fuck around, make jokes, make stupid videos, make people laugh. I thought that was the best thing you could do for people is bring joy, make them laugh. But after putting out the documentary, getting vulnerable, talking about my mental health, that was the biggest effect I've had on anybody. The most response I've ever got. Absolutely. And it genuinely helps people. That's what's yeah. helping people. Yeah. So I think that's great. But go on, Mike. Sorry. Uh, no, and, and, to, and to that point, like podcasts, whatever else I do, these kind of shows are all pale to the, com in comparison to the book. The book was my, is the biggest thing I'll ever do for the rest of my life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ta touch a lot on, on the opiate epidemic, substance abuse, and uh, and mental health. So, um, but We're um, all fucked in the head. Maybe that's why we get along with BFF. Yeah, yeah, BFF. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, I, no, I I was just gonna say I, I just think we're it's so weird that we're still at a point in the psychology field and the psych uh psychiatric field where we're like uh picking pills for people uh and their mental illness is like a dartboard still yeah how is it how are we still well, there bro? Yeah. like yo today you're gonna try a fexer today you're gonna try wellbutrin like why is there no like rhyme or reason to 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 it besides like yo try this this week try this next month like, like it just seems like we point. haven't made any progress well, psychiatry is is weird, is like a weird field where people like specifically antidepressants and SSRIs, which is kind of a relatively new one. Yep. Like Lexapro is kind of a breakthrough antidepressant. For sure. And um, so I, for some reason, you know, some just work better for people and work worse for worse. So I think what they generally do is just cycle through starting with like the ones that work the most, which yeah. is usually Lexapro now. Lexapro is the main. And yeah, then just sure. go through like down to Prozac and stuff. But I don't think in the end of the day, they don't really know a lot about the brain yet. Like even still, you know, it's the final frontier. People say spaces, but I think the human brain is the final frontier. To be honest, we just don't know anything. Fuck, dude. Well, they can't <laughs> they can't cut it open and close it back up. That's the problem. Yeah. Well, and we just have no view. We have no like idea around uh, consciousness and like the mind. Yeah, consciousness. And Elon's totally trying to put a, a chip in there now. No, thanks. Would you try that out? Well, Would you be no, one of the first? I'm not letting Elon touch anything in my body, bro. <laughs> put it, put it, he put the chip in his own head and proof, you know. He's doing pro pro first. proof of concept to me, you know. Yeah, that's fair. No, I turned on Elon Musk, man. I don't, I'm not a fan. I feel like everyone has. Really? He, he, he used to, he's he running used to do the, no he's wrong. He's running now. the right right now in the meme community. Yeah. Like, all Twitter. Yeah, he yeah, runs he's, the entire he's, show. He's very popular. Uh, okay, so Tana, I, that, that's pretty much it, you know. And, uh, but... The thing that's special about you is that, you know, you never said a bad thing about me. And so I'm sorry for the body shaming <laughs> and uh, everything, you know, that I said. And when I said I'm not sorry, just to be clear, A.B., you know, I was being facetious. <laughs> Uh, and I think I've clarified now, A.B. Uh, uh, I mean, have I clarified your satisfaction, A.B.? A.B.? Yeah. I, as the representative of the Tana community, we accept. <laughs> okay. Bro, AB got to yeah, be pulling I mean, chicks, dude. We've always... He's married. That's his wife. Oh, sorry. Well, he pulled the chick. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, I was right. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You're right. He is he's married. He's like, dude, he's like Pete Davidson, bro. He's like got the whole swag going on and Thank everything. You. Thank you. And I said pulling just because I know you guys were saying pulling last week. Yeah, I yeah. Said, I, I don't usually say that. Appreciate it. Anyways. And he changed my shirt. Yeah. Do you want to apologize? That was a little chauvinistic. <laughs> No, nah, not really. No, good. yeah, okay. I don't. I think you're good at what you do. I've never, I mean, I've never responded to any, a lot of the things you've thrown at me because it's just, we're two different realms. Like, I, I always just kind of looked at it as like, H3 is going to hate on me for no matter what. Yeah. Might as well just live my life. And yeah. You're a slayer. Slay, 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 yeah, slay, you're slay. You're a slayer too, man. Um, <laughs> you're a slay <laughs> queenie. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Um, yeah. There you go. There you have it. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. We squashed the beef. Yeah. By the way, I don't. I think it was one-sided beef. You know, you were like you we were angry with me. Okay. I was yeah. never really angry with. So maybe you, I so. should be the one well squashed. Yeah, that's what I'm my, Yeah, put your arm in there. Or something. Maybe now you can <laughs> sleep at night without letting your hatred for Tana Mojo keep you up. Well, that was never. Her pinky. I <laughs> never thought about you that much. <laughs> that's her good. pinky in the vice. I feel like Jeff. I feel like we could have done off. one piece of beef, dude. Like we really had to do. Okay, this. fine. Here we go. Do you want to take, do you want to bring this home as a memorabilia or? I wouldn't want to eat it. Might get back to my Twinkie days. 
<laughs> nice, <Fair> Santa. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> once it goes in the vice, it's done. We can never bring it up again, huh? That's, true. Is that how this That's it. You. you should have to delete any trail of the evidence off the internet. Now. Oh no, that'd be like that'd That's, be a good, yeah, good video. amount of episode of Frenemies. Hmm. I know those are. You still get the revenue from Frenemies, yeah, right? Just delete my episode. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, yeah, at was this Trishma point, really, was H three really the or frenemies? I mean, where that leaked, like for the first time. Yeah. Well, then somebody uh, somebody was on the beach and they had a video and they started uh, trying to blackmail me on the beach from the excavator day. Yeah. A random person was trying to blackmail you. Yeah, they were trying. They were saying they were selling it to insider or something, and I was yeah. like, the fuck. And once a video's on the internet, you know, it gets screen recorded and reposted, you can oh, get yeah. it taken down. So I started a little group chat with like my diehard supporters and I'm so grateful they fucking took everything down. They would wow. flag the shit out of it and they would get pulled down. It was stressful at the time because I was like trying to work on this doc to tell the story the right way, the way I wanted to, which still wasn't the right way. Mm -hmm. But at the time I thought it was. And yeah, they helped out a lot. So that, that was cool. Shout out to the cyber what, cult. What's your regret about the documentary? Um, the story was told not the right way. I would have liked What it. would you have changed about it? Uh, the priority should have been to tell my story, mm -hmm. the honest truth, and not sugarcoat it to- You feel it was too sugarcoated? Yeah, yeah, because at the time, you know, my whole audience was his whole audience. Right. And- It's scary, that's hard. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Go against everybody, right, you know? And right. I, I was around that life for a couple of years, and I saw where he was at his peak, and it was like the fucking Beatles. It was insane. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So now you want me to be like, all right, I just got fucked up, and this is the real story. Mm -hmm. I think you know he was trying to fling me off for a prank, and now I'm just gonna change the whole story. Even the day after I got out of the hospital, when he called, he called the. Uh, one of the Kardashians or something, and he was like, look at what this idiot did or some shit like that. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? Right. This is what you think happened? Right. This is the narrative you're trying to spread? So it was already manipulation from the right. start. And I was just blind at the time, you know? I was like, no, this is the way I have to handle it because I still want a career. I get after, that, you know? honestly. I don't want my life yeah. to be over. That's scary to go up against Dubrick. Right out, right out the gate. Yeah, what like is that, that Dubrick? It's Dubrick. my mom. She said Dubrick. Oh, uh, and that's what I always say. Now. Yeah, and then I put out little feelers later on. I'm like, you know, <laughs> a year and a half in, nine surgeries in, barely talk to the kid anymore. And then um, it just stopped even hitting me up in general. Like I would go get surgery, eyes stitched shut, and I'm like, just fucking dealing with this shit. And then he puts out the. Well, I started posting little things like, let me make fun of the hairline, little mm -hmm, dad, mm -hmm, to see mm -hmm. what type of person he really was, because I was sensing it in my head. <laughs> And I was like, well, and then obviously you guys helped out. Like a lot of people were making me think like, all right, I can actually do something here. So then I started doing that. And then they put out a podcast where he had saw a meme that he saw after the accident happened. We're in the hospital. He's the only one that's there. Mm. And I remember him. I don't remember a lot from that day, but I remember that. And he's like, oh, oh, oh shit, dude, look, you sent me this fucking meme like this thing. And. It was like he found, you know, an alibi or something. So the the evidence he was he showed on his screen. He's like, "Yo, Jeff he put sent that me in a the meme. podcast and blame me for the whole thing." And it's like, "All right." Oh yeah, it was a meme about like an accident or something, right? Yeah, there's yeah. some guy on an excavator swinging around in a rope. Yeah, and, and he was like, "Yo, this is an admission of guilt or something." Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Like I like it was my idea. Or yeah, that's shit. right, 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 right. Like yeah. it matters anyway. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, I was. It, like I remember, I I, I got I, I can't get into too much because it's evidence that I um, yeah yeah you know Hopefully you're in litigation that Johnny right Depp, now. Amber Heard live stream dude that, that would be insane that. bro you can react to those dude that's dope. good views for me I'm I'm rooting for that I'm pushing yeah, for that I have some stuff that live I'll reaction save, you know? oh yeah <laughs> yeah I'm, I don't want to go back and forth on the internet too much and also the lawyers said not to yeah so. yeah 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 mom's the word yeah but let's get into Mike huh. Okay, so so anyway, yeah, Tana, uh, uh, best friend. Tana's my best friend now. Select Wait. girl queen pussy boss. Like actually, like you pussy guys boss. Is that what girl you said? Queen pussy boss. Oh, I never heard pussy boss. You guys are best friends. Well, for now. Oh, got it. Yeah, I mean, I that's think what I was just saying. We're besties now. Yeah. Nobody's wearing the hat but me, huh? And you went backwards with it. My no, my no. That's my other hat. 
Oh, you took it off. Yeah, it just didn't fit. It's not, we're not BFFFs yet. BFFFFs. You know? Oh, so have... put it on when you think the, the moment's right. Okay, okay, it'll be a nice moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you feel the moment's right. We don't want to come in here and just dick ride, act like everything's all right. I know that's how I started out the show, but I'm at their <laughs> energy now. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, that. we're fucking standing up for the shit you said. What do I, I have brain damage. I forgot everything you said bad about me. Do you really? And now it's damage? rekindling. Yeah. Now it's all coming back up. Yeah, yeah, you did say I had a fucking uh cyclops eye and yeah yeah no I'm, yeah all that that's, we'll that's, get yeah. to that yeah, no I, yeah. I made fun of your eye quite a bit for sure <laughs> yeah we'll get there yeah. tana that's why i was you know it's all here it's all here Damn. okay hey i'm not looking for dick riding either yeah. <laughs> ab rides my dick enough for everybody <laughs> ab my man yeah I don't i'll take know. some of that no that's here. not true ab's not the dick writer it's zach yeah and i love him for that <laughs> love you too yeah love you buddy zach's got great hair Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> That's what mine's gonna look like after my turkey hair. <laughs> Grow it out real long. Yeah. It's growing. Uh, it's growing a little bit. Yeah. It's just I haven't had a haircut in a while, so I wore a hat today because I haven't had like this. Anyways, uh, what do you hate hey, you me wanna, for? You want, to talk, <laughs> you want to talk about your hair more? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right, so let's move on to Mike. Um, all right, here we go. Now this, boy, this is this actually just turned into like a podcast about be, me being a dick. <laughs> That's basically the whole thrust. Where did you think thing. it was gonna go? Like, the, right. the, it's like on. No, I kind of knew that that was the direction, but like now that I'm talking about everything, it's like unreciprocal. I may not have. I, yeah, I may not have any fans left after this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so sure you will. I just came in here like fuck everything. You know, it's all good. It is what it is. Play that Godfather music. Where's the sound bites today? <laughs> you could play it for him. Yeah, you, you can get it. You gonna hit that, Mike? You take this one up. We come to your studio. To have a conversation with you. <laughs> we know about your outstanding beef mm. with the star that is Kim. Kim Star. I like it. Sorry. <laughs> we come here to offer you an olive branch. I know it was you, Fredo. <laughs> Sit down with you and discuss what the options are. And by options, I won't get into it. Right. But there's a good chance that we walk out of here today. As an alliance. Okay, good. <laughs> the Upper East Side, Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. Right. Sitting down at the table, breaking bread together. Yes. What do you say? That sounds, you that sounds, that sounds good. <laughs> you tell me. I like that Fredo soundbite. I was going to come in here and kiss you on the lips to start off. <laughs> so, um. Tell, tell Cody to go home. Cody's Don't outside. <laughs> Tell Cody to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Cody gave me the directions uh, to get down here. Like, Cody. what's wrong with <laughs> no, you? Kidding. Like, what is <laughs> like that? Yeah. Ethan sent the address in the DMs. I was like, we already got it. Cody sent it over. I said, I'm we, just kidding. I flipped I'm, Cody. He's here to take that. <laughs> Bottom line is, cannot be trusted. Oh, God. That's right. I send you a message. Well, so, what are we doing? Listen, Michael, you come here today. To break bread. Disrespect to Italian culture. <laughs> to disrespect. Do you know my children are seven percent Italian? Forget about it. Scum. <laughs> I'm half offended oh, right now. Shit. Are you half kind. Italian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm twenty five percent, so I'm a quarter of I pay my respect to you. <laughs> Just this half. Only the good <laughs> the half. Good, the, half <laughs> the half with the good eye. You know, seen in Goodfellas when he's like, I told my, I told my mother you're Jewish. Only the good half. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. And we got my friend Cody outside, in case this goes sideways. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm gonna be honest. When you were doing that voice, bro, I was crying, bro. I was laughing. It's so funny because like you think that the majority of shit that like anyone in this room has had to say about any of us were at home like fucking motherfucker but a lot of times yeah. i'm sitting back I'm like yo this is funny yeah shit, it is bro. funny and he's making fun of me <laughs> yes. when he's doing it i love it i was here yeah. yeah thank you for saying that you know appreciate that we're just <laughs> so let's see well, let's go, let's focus on the 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 mic beef. now i watched this clip back and i'll be honest it's pretty vile i gotta yeah. say it's pretty vile yeah. and i don't think i would say anything like this today uh, but here I'm just gonna play for you guys and, I'll, and I'll, apologies in advance. <laughs> she does the craziest shit. Like she'll take like a 20 yard dick that's like 10 feet wide. 20 and yard? And that's, no, I'm just there's saying. There's no penis that it's big. It's impossible. Yeah, no. It's physically impossible. Like, <laughs> like she, she'll take like she does like the craziest porn you can imagine with like dicks, like Who tons she, of dicks. Talking I'm talking about Lana. Yeah. Which is totally out of every line. hole and all that. <laughs> 
And I don't, I just don't understand how can you please a woman like that after, after she's actively taking like 20 dicks in her badge that, that same day. Well, I have a feeling God that damn. I know. <laughs> I know. And I remember, and I, I and this was one of the first times where I, I know where I like wanted to. So you tweeted at me about this. Correct. Yeah. And I remember I had right off the bat had Gila support. Right, like she was like. Not, I had no support on this right one. on this one. Yeah, right? no, nobody, nobody had so, my back. So let me, so let me break into it for a second. So like, do you ever find yourself when someone has something to say about you, you're like strangely un, unoffended or unaffected by it? But when someone has something to say about your significant other, mm -hmm. kid, yeah, of course, your mom, your dad, you're ready to go to fucking town, bro. Yes. Like you're mad, and that's the kind of person that I am. And I like that was a really vulnerable time for me because it gave people that wanted to get under my skin the ability to do so because they knew exactly where to attack. And I was very vulnerable at, the, at that time. I was very affected by a lot of that stuff, dude. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and you know, I would, I would come up with a million different, like, like this tweet, a million different ways to combat it, but it was in, in an internalized battle that I had to and deal with. When you say you were insecure with that, you mean just with like the relationship or? The, or, the, or, or, the or. issue is that Lana Amara at the time was very, very sh kind of felt a lot of shame and a lot mm. of things about that part of her life and about that industry that she wasn't proud of. Mm. And, and that industry is a disgusting place, mm -hmm. a disgusting place. And there was mm. a lot of things similar to the scenes that you were discussing and talking about these crazy scenes that they're actually coerced or like underhandedly pushed into mm -hmm. doing, yo, mm. oh, I don't want to do that scene. Well, you don't, you don't do that scene. Mm -hmm. You don't do a scene for the next six months because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. can't tell you, oh, like they can't say that in like a specific way. Like, yo, if you don't do that scene, you're fired because that breaks the law. But like, you know, like this, hey, maybe you don't do that scene. Maybe we don't see you again for six months. You know, we got That's other crazy. girls that it's a really yeah. fucked up place, a toxic place. Yeah. And so it was something that she was just very just not OK with. And I was aware of how not OK she was with it. So when other people were like openly talking about it, openly mocking it, it really hurt me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It really upset yeah, me. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I, I didn't have any trouble with any foot soldiers on that one. I think you got no, smashed. No, <laughs> yeah, nobody had my back on that one. You know, looking back, I think what I, in a way, meant to say was that I don't know how you could, like having sex with her is intimidating, right? Sure. Like no, maybe, no, that, right. maybe that, maybe what that. You I think said that's in, in a sense what I meant. It, Nothing to do with like, I don't know why I had to go down like the badge being blasted and all that shit. Cause I know that's stupid. That's all bullshit. Stupid ass misogyny, lame. Disgusting, by the way. Shame on me. Shame. Just, just in essence, I think what you were saying is like, is the, the, the question is a, a legitimate question. Like, how do you intend on pleasing someone that has had sex with men of this size, men of these different, all these different. Even, I think it's just, it's intimidating, right? Like you're fucking a, uh, an Olympic athlete of yes, sex. Yes, yes. You know. Do you want the answer to it? Yeah. Okay, so. Well, sure, if you, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, I'm not I, put, I, yeah, I, but I if will. If you come I'm, here with the answer. I'm less, <laughs> ju just quickly. To and by like, the way, yeah. I like Lana. Like, she seems like a great person. She's amazing. Honestly, amazing. super nice. And again, and it, it, she didn't deserve it, uh, that, that kind of words. Sometimes I just try to be funny and it's live. <sighs> I've gotten a lot better at censoring myself, I think, in the past couple of years. Well, I think also like people see what uh, adult film stars do mm -hmm. and they then make the assumption that they're completely OK with being like very graphic and discussion about it. And like mm -hmm. that makes sense. Like that co that connection makes sense. So I wasn't like wasn't that it was definitely like going overboard. But um, the, the answer to what you're saying, and I'm, I'm a little bit less affected by shit like this, but um, the, the, the answer is women create a psychological and a mental bond with the, their lovers that doesn't exist in a. Uh, recreational sexual sexual atmosphere, and so like I hate to burst the bubble of a lot of porn viewers out there, but like the majority of porn stars aren't enjoying the sex that they're having on mm -hmm, set. Mm -hmm. They're just not. Yeah. It's just the fact of the matter. They're doing it. It's work. It's as enjoyable as you know <laughs> another like a, a nine to five for someone else, right? Like yo, I have to go and I have to go and do this thing. Yeah, this yeah, is my yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. And then a lot of them go home and they have uh, passionate intercourse with a lover and actually glean some sort of meaningful satisfaction right right so that's my long yeah answer. yeah i thought he was gonna say i'm actually the fucking man no that's not, <laughs> that's not but that's not. interesting mike you brought up a good point you're saying that because it's on camera the connection it's all bullshit. what about this here 
What about us squashing our We're not, I mean, oh, I don't want to fuck it. Yeah. Is that, no, no, I know, no. that's not what I'm getting at. I'm <laughs> saying. I understand what you're saying. We're on camera here squashing our beefs. What are we going to do? We're going to hang out after this, you know? To be honest with you, I would, I would go as far as saying that the conversation we have outside of this may be more, maybe, I yeah, don't know. This show is called BFFFFs. <laughs> yeah. But we're on camera. This is fake. What is I this I don't crap? think so. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel I feel like when I'm on camera, are you having an existential crisis? Yeah, okay. I'm easily persuaded. I personally feel. You want me to get on a crane? <laughs> let's let's. We have a Gatsby. Going. I don't know if you know what that is. I'm sure you can injure yourself on that. Pretty good. Uh, it's, you know. No, I think we're getting somewhere. I'm just. I think. Around. I'm just trying to break up the. No, I know what you mean, though. This was our first. I, interaction. I personally feel that. Um, I'm. Fi I'm. I'm. You know, genuine on camera, even if I take shit too far sometimes. But we're we're not fucking. No, we're not fucking, but we can... Do you know what frauding is? Fraudage? Uh -uh. Oh, you guys don't know that? It's when you... You know what that is? I'm the only one? Shit, this isn't going to look good. It's when dudes <laughs> put their dicks together and, like, their dicks basically <clears throat> touch. Fra I thought it was docking. Is it docking oh, one, maybe? too? Well, isn't docking when docking you put, you put the foreskin of the... Uh, yeah, is yeah. that different? Oh. No, that's a whole set. That's a whole different procedure. How come me and you not, do you know like what Cleveland steamers are and all that shit? Like you follow like that urban dictionary type. I actually don't. Was that when you shit on a girl's back or something? I think so. Yeah, or the yeah. chest, right? Is that what that is? Somebody have the info? I think that's on a chest. Oh. Yeah. Oh, popular, that's, that's popular in Cleveland? Is that where they got that? I don't know what it is that <laughs> Cleveland has to do with it. I'm maybe sure. Cleveland just is like, maybe just is a shitty. Cleveland rocks. Shit. You know who the last person I was with in Cleveland? I just want to say this quickly. I was at a, um, a restaurant there and I ran into Oliver Tree. Oh, yeah? And um, I I missed hand, a lot. No, I missed a lot of the stuff with you guys. I'm just saying you didn't take, shake his hand because he has mon monkeypox. Current. Yeah. This was just not too long ago. Yeah. No. But, he has he has open wounds. But dude, he was he had some really fucked up stuff to say about. And honestly, like I, at the time, like me and you hadn't swashed the beef yet. Yeah. Wait, some of the, the stuff. Some of the Oliver? stuff he oh, said about you about your back. about why about your wife. Oh, uh, like we did, did say that in the horrible. In, I did the barbershop episode you guys with him know, recently. Yeah, I want to know. Did you catch that? Because he talked a lot of crap. About yeah, it I did. There, see but it. that was the I light was with version. Him you want to see what? The, and you can read this text. Okay, listen what the to this. Fuck? I got a text from him today as well. I'm gonna read this to you guys. <laughs> he says, "I just want you to know before going into it, don't believe anything those guys say. They're all pathological yep. lies." Oh, that's yep. interesting because I got you want me including to read? me. He said, he said, he said, don't believe anything Ethan says. He's a notorious liar. He said that to you? Yeah. <laughs> Did he spell, he oh, oh, wait, wait, Jeff, Jeff. I, I hadn't opened this one, but read the top text from him. And I just said back, ha, 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 ha. And then he said a bunch of terrible stuff. He repeated what he said in the barbershop that I had to cut. Read, read this, <laughs> Jeff. said was light. Read the top text that he sent to me today. Wait, so I'm um, Don't believe anything Oliver Ethan Tree. says. He'll try to Listen, lie to you like man. he does to all his idiot fans. Uh, this is from Oliver. To, uh, Explain. Three so Oliver Tree, you got you know about him? I do. It was in his music <sighs> video yesterday. Oh really? I wonder if that was a dig at you. I wonder well, if you, monkey you got monkey pot. Yeah. You didn't touch him, did you? Um, no. Was he sick? Because he just let me ask you a question. Because he just canceled his fire fest in San Diego. He just fire not, fest? did he seem sick to you on the shoot? He was burping. I mean, you can a be lot. sick and not show. He says it, he right? can't talk. He has like nodes in his lungs. Or not lungs, his throat. Right. Yeah, he's fucking lying. You know what happened? He didn't sell enough tickets at that stadium and he was embarrassed. So, oh, that's what they're saying about Jake. Yeah. Jake's thing. Do you know anything about that? I don't know. The, I think that, that's got to be what happened. I think Hasim didn't make, I, I don't know. But, but um, so I saw him in Cleveland. <coughs> yeah. And it was, I mean, dude, it was gnarly. It, it, well, like, I don't know. Like, he, he, you, know, you, know he's, you know what he's, so I'll, this I'll is the second time. Myself. So this is the second time. I had seen him in the past month. Yeah. He's been going out, doing the circuit. I don't know what the fuck he's been up to. I go to high because, you know, I go out and I, I network and have fun and stuff like that. He's at high. <laughs> he's at high. You guys are the same age. Hey, yeah, hey, 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 hey. I don't know what high is. Hey, bucket, bucket up. For it's just interesting. I'm just putting it out there. I'm not shaming anyone. I'm just throwing it out there. Can Last you time your audience that? tried to twist my words and say that I was, I was fat shaming you. I was age shaming you. Oh, but it's fine. All I said was you are younger than I me. think it's silly if, if my fans get mad at you saying, oh yeah, I remember you said, you, it's okay, you implied that he looks better than me. No. Yes, you no, did. No, I was But saying, it's fine. It was like this leading. Is, this it is, was yes, like, but it's this fine. Is, this is what happens. You say I something and then everybody it. backs you up. I was saying, you're not out at Hyde. You have kids. You have a different lifestyle, more respectable lifestyle, some would say. And he's it's saying different. he's out at Hyde networking. Yeah, what does networking mean, man? Come on. 
What we all know what networking means. We see his Instagram Doc. stories. We see <laughs> all the chicks on his Instagram. Wait, so are you, are you done? Stop. Yeah, go for it. I see. Well, well, hold on. Sure, I'll just never say this. Um, <laughs> you did say you guys are the same age. Or pull it, but anyway, you. It's okay. I'm not offended. You should add that. To I've, his I've made fun category. of you. I've made fun of your eyes so much. I was like, guys, how why, how are you going to get mad at Jeff? Like, it's all good. It's like I've never made fun of your appearance ever, ever. You said I looked old. No, but it's I was fine. Saying, you guys are. I was just. Even you're leading into it. Okay, whatever you want to say. Okay, you can throw the meat in the in the vice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to we'll get right. to Jeff. Can I? Did, yeah, go ahead. So he tells me, he I guess has been spending time with uh, Nelk. And, what? And he said that the following week he was going to Croatia to meet Tate. Me, Andrew Tate, top G. <laughs> he told me they're doing a song about you. Andrew Tate's going to be on it. <laughs> This and you, this. I'm not. I'm not your way. at all either. Oh, no, I know. I, I believe. He I have do pictures that. or videos of it too, and I think he. I don't know if you know this, but I think Keem was doing a charity dinner in Rochester, <laughs> and he said he had bought a he he Oliver Char had a Keem had bought a fifteen hundred dollar plate at the, at Keem's charity dinner. You know how I know you're lying, because pe people pay Keemstar to stay away from their charity events. Okay. I'm saying out of your, your guys. Listen, we're just I, I'm messenger. bringing you Don't and I'll the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm not, <laughs> fucking, the messenger. I'm not cutting another one off. Tate, no. you guys, that's Tree and Keemstar right? teamed up. There's a diss track coming your way. We're just giving you a heads up. This is it. Let's move on. Okay. You know. By the way, <laughs> you want to know what? Have you heard his you music? Know, you want to know how pathetic Oliver is? He goes. He goes. Hey, if you feel so bad for me, maybe you can mention in the pod and plug my tour. Fuck you, bro. And you did, idiot. You just did. You kind of just did. Maybe I did. <laughs> yeah. You walked well, you right did also that's all I did. his fans that he has monkey pops. Yeah, he has monkey pops that <laughs> so just don't breathe next to him really close. He's he's just an asshole. I don't know what to say. He talks shit. He goes in his shows and he goes, fuck Ethan Klein. Fuck Ethan Klein. And it's like, it's whack. Yeah. Fun. No, at the end of the day, Oliver Tree's a piece of time. shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's a piece of shit. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, yours is real. Yeah, mine's real. Yeah. He's a business partner of mine. We have a company together called Drink Good luck. Slime. Good Drink luck. Slime. <laughs> Drink Slime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you in on that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm a partner. Good for you, man. It's, time, it's about time you get paid from that fucking doing something with what's his face. We make money. He, we make money. He's a good, he's a good, Logan's a great partner. <laughs> what did he just I missed that. What did he just say? It's about time. You I said it's about money. time you make some money. Just Logan's sitting next very to Logan. Gracious. So, you he's know what I mean? Partner. You, you're outside in Turkey hustling for 15K. <laughs> <laughs> How great of a partner can he be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta get paid. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> oh, do you know what that's from, Mike? Oh, please stop. I can't. I can't. Just someone, please, please, someone please stop. Someone called Logan to no, tell stop. him. I'm I just going to tell him. Yeah, yeah. Someone called Logan to say, hey, bro, this was like during the height of the pandemic. Tanner like, Fox was with him. Oh, yeah. He's like, bro, we were together all weekend and I have COVID. I'm so sorry. And then Logan said, Go ahead, Zach. I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. It was, who was it? It was Tanner Fox. <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's so funny. But anyway, the immune system, system that whole probably. We're good. It's a damn superhero. See? We've, yeah, this no, is, we're, we all survived. We're good. We had a game plan. We did a rehearsal on the way here to see how things would go. We'd back each other up. We got a code mm -hmm. word for when we walk. If oh, that comes, really? that time might He's come. He's really good at the fake, at fake, so he's a good liar. We all walk. That Jeff Wittick's a good liar, audience. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Oliver said. Seems like it's starting to stack up against you, buddy. I'm winning 50, the polls, pal. 52% Numbers don't lie. Dude. Numbers don't lie. You're Arizona right now. You're about to be fucking recounted. Yeah. It's over. It's the wrong state. It was Pennsylvania. I think Arizona was in the recount. It's it's a, it's a, it's I don't know, but it was close enough. I mean, it was definitely the last poll was within, you know, uh, You're automatic Arizona. recount. I'm Pennsylvania. Dumps. So anyway, uh, 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 so Mike, the other thing is basically uh, this one, you know, uh, this one, I don't know. It's a little hard to bring up. No, I'm good with anything. Okay, so, so, so. I'm ready. I'm ready to walk. All right. Anymore. Yeah, get ready to walk, bro. Get ready to walk on this one. Oh, God. Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Mike, here to send some love and camaraderie to the Dink Doink Telegram team. I know you guys have been busting your ass to make ready? sure that the hottest, newest coin of 2021 is Dink Doink with the hottest <laughs> functionality and all of the most built-in techniques, tactics, and capabilities. Dink Doink <laughs> is cleared to be the hottest fucking coin ever. Okay. I just want well, to say, on, keep on. up the good work. And if you guys do everything that you're doing right now, 
even more exponentially, we can go to the top of this whole fucking market, dude. Yeah, we keep going. Fuck Lots of yeah. fashion. Fuck is this yeah. a sponsored video? Okay, no, no, no. Guys, so, so let me let me. Oh, ask that was you. Logan. No, 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 no. No, it wasn't. No, I, I mean, did a brand deal for that. Jeff, I need you to oh, really ask him if it was sponsored. I need you to really oh. shut up for this whole segment. I'm gonna go take a piss. No, He's don't. Got, okay. How do you not piss all the time? Go ahead. You do go three piss. hour podcasts. You don't piss. Your hydration. You drink. All right, can water. you go? I pee right before, and then I. Okay. I retain it. Yeah. What? Let me ask you a question, Ethan. When you watch that video, is there one second, three? No, no. Pause it, please. Is there one second? Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want you to. I know exactly. No, I know, but just talk over the theme. No, song. not doing it. Ding doink, you're my favorite. What were you gonna say, Mike? I want you to dink on my face, take a doink on my chest. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. You have a captain body. Can I fit? Can I talk? You just turn it down a little. No, no, no. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get out. All right, all right. All right. right. Go ahead. No, you can, you can kill it. All right. No, can you kill the video? Oh, too? not even the you no video. No, I don't want that. Okay, so no video either. I don't know. If I, <laughs> all right, yo, let me ask you a question. When you watch that video of me, is there any moment of that where you're like, "Wow, this seems serious"? Like, no, you're obviously being tongue in cheek. A moron, bro. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain to you very quickly. Guys, you can keep it. it. You don't have to keep playing it. I get a call. Yo, I'm doing this dumb fucking thing. Absolutely no explanation. It's a it's a, a fucking idea that talks shit about the crypto community. Can you send a video to me that I'm gonna post for the 15 devs in this Telegram group chat? Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Two days later, the thing's fucking viral. I mean, I'm like, bro, it was awesome. It was some so fucking good. asshole is gonna see this, yeah. and they're gonna think this is a real fucking thing now. Well, but, but I but, never. But I know let me, you were let being me say sarcastic. This. But, I have never. Yeah. In any of my wallets, accepted a dink doink coin, accepted any kind of payment for dink doink. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was no money made there. I've never been involved in even a semblance of a scam, crypto scam. You didn't, brand that, you scam didn't profit from dink doink in okay, zero good. way, shape, or form. Good. God bless. Building off of tits that. Coin. How was tits coin? No, hold on a sec. Go to tits coin after. <laughs> building, yeah. building off of that. Yeah. Just to overarch a macro statement, because mm -hmm. I know. You're including, you know, fuck it. I'll just leave it there. Yeah. We okay. don't scam. That's I've fine. never scammed anyone before. Logan mm -hmm. cares extremely deeply about his audience, loves his audience, loves his brand, doesn't have to fucking scam to make money. That's clearly. what I would think. That's what's he so does, confusing dude. about he it. He didn't make fucking, nobody made money on dink doink, dude. Right. Yo, you're in trouble. That crypto shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, what's interesting is that it's virtually zero. It's the same as Luna. It did a Luna. It might be even worth less than Luna. <laughs> you have to pay, Dad. Look at that. That's like a you trillionth of a so cent. I'm not walking off. I'm going okay, to thank you for No, clarifying. dude, that was... dude. That, <laughs> leave your stuff. Yo, you want to know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to leave your stuff. Ethan, you want to know something fucked up? I'm too worried. And by the way, by the way, it probably was your fault, actually. I lost a financial sponsorship, a financial product sponsor sponsorship as a result of that video going live. <laughs> Uh, give me the Godfather. Listen. Well, what no, no, no. Listen. It wasn't yeah. that much. It was. It was thirty-five k. You're gonna pay my friend half the money. Otherwise, Cody's That's a lot gonna of money. pay you a visit. Oh, how much was the deal? Thirty-five k. Thirty-five. That we got the real Italian doing the Godfather. It was. So they saw. So You're they gonna saw give it? my friend your seventeen five. <laughs> Otherwise, Cody's gonna come down here every couple days to collect. <laughs> That right, was pretty wild how he drove by my house twice. He took photos though, wasn't it? Did he? <laughs> oh, that's coming. Fuck, man. Uh, listen, I'm not responsible for him. He's No, I'm just saying it was wild. Did you do you know about that? Hey, problem solved. It's no, done. Me, he's me, gone. He's, me, gone. Me, he's me, out of the Cody country. Or dogs? He's out of the country. Yeah, he's got he you back now. God. Yeah, he's on your team now. <laughs> he's your problem. I'm team Cody. Yeah, yeah. Did you know about that? I saw it. It was mind blowing. I couldn't believe that you. I sent. I, I mean, hitman to fucking his house. I didn't like, send anybody any. By the way, it's a okay, gay community. A mind of his own. And he got in, and he was taking photos of my fucking house. He's good at stuff like that, figuring things out. <laughs> what are we talking about? Yeah, <laughs> Did I know. It really happened. Yeah, yeah. It was. He not. went to Jeff Logan's that time too when you were when you were talking. So me and Jeff had a thing once. By the way, like. This Wait, you guys were beef. Oh yeah, this isn't the first episode of BFFFs. We beef goes on. Me well, and Jeff yeah, had a whole uh, thing. Yeah, really? With oh, yeah. 
Well, well, I don't hold on. I don't know if that's if that part's public of what. Yeah, he said it on his podcast. On podcast he goes, Jeff, you want to fight? Bad, Let's fucking speak. Because well, of why, though, right? What happened? Because David made the joke on the podcast. Dave, that? Uh, yeah, David made a joke. Uh, fuck, I don't even remember, bro. David on made impulsive? a Dave, no. David went on the set of Impulsive during a party we were having at Logan's house without us being there and made a tasteless joke. Okay, we don't have to repeat what it was, mm -hmm. but it was a tasteless joke. Mm -hmm. Logan what was got the footage of it. And no, and saw that he made that joke because Logan had camera. Oh, he made a forest joke. Two Logan's yeah. cameraman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. do we not even talk? We don't even talk about the forest. No, it's no. We, well, I mean, we're not gonna today, but like, yeah, no, yeah. no it's, a, gonna... it's a topic of discussion. I mean, dude, yeah. he'll he'll tell you it's the. Yeah, it it's not touching life. for him. No, 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 it changes. Life. I yeah, mean, dude, yeah. Yeah. think about. Let me ask you a question. Let's 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 cap the other Welcome one and back, then come back. back. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for coming. So back. so, are you comfortable? Do you need something to drink? I'm chilling. Thank you. I just want to make sure you're happy and. You want, you want a Twinkie or something? <laughs> we, yeah. No, we don't have to. Yeah, Mike, put it him. back on you. David, David, uh, David made this joke, <laughs> and Jeff, so so I was Logan's, at the time, you know, gutter fucking dirtbag friend. Mm -hmm. He's Dobrik's dirtbag friend. And things have, friend. things have changed for you? Well, we, we're, I would consider us Mike's a really better. good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. He, he looked out. No, but you me. said something about being a gutter. I mean, well, we come from, me and Jeff come from the same oh, type I see of place. What you mean. I see right? And we come from... Whatever, right? Yeah. So, so I, he he's expressing his distaste for Logan having distaste with David's comment, mm -hmm. and Logan and David are having a very YouTubey beef, and me and Jeff get on Facetime, and and it turns into like a, yo, you want to fucking go down this route? Like, yeah. Shit, I'll come to your fucking house, right? Like, really? You guys ready to throw down? Oh, what did I say? I think I. You're said, not gonna like how this ends. I like, said this is gonna end really bad yeah, for the both yeah. of us. I don't give a fuck. You're I'm ready to. And I was doubling down too. We were I said you could beat at. the shit out of me. We could share a fucking hospital bed. We'll share the ambulance. It's fine. I hung up. Let me know if that's where you want to go. I said I like that. And then we became best friends after. A while. Sometimes I gotta say, sometimes you take shit too far. Yeah. Like you always turn. You go like, I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna fucking kill everybody. That's you don't right, say you don't say no that. Between. Yeah, you don't say that. But you're like, I'll fucking <laughs> like like mm. what you said. I, know, I'm just, I, 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 I was too quick to yeah. do all that. Yeah, yeah. it's I, it's a character trait. I mean, you never you never heard anyone that I know about. Well, he probably has in the past, but, but quick quick. <laughs> yeah, not that that I know about. I'm a I'm a public you figure now, yeah. and I need to start acting like it. Yeah, and I am. Well, and you're an adult. I like and you, you just make it the good. way you are. Thank you, Tana. Slime. You're the best, she, isn't she? Can we? Great. Yeah, she is nice. I'm glad you're here, and I want to. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> how, how are you doing? I feel over that there? you feel a little left out of the conversation. No, you're just no. discussing things. Yeah. Okay, what good. am I going to do? Insert myself? No, 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 no. Ooh. I just want to make sure you're comfortable I'm, and happy. I'm so comfortable. Yeah, okay, I'm good. so happy. How's your mouth feel? Hurts like a it bitch. Does. You yeah. have meds for help it with the pain. Yeah, but I didn't want to come here off the Norco's oh, and fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You want to ask me how my eye feels? How's your eye feel, Jeff? Uh, I don't really like complaining about myself. You don't like to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. I was just going to qu just <laughs> jump quickly towards the Logan stuff because you guys have had a very tumultuous like time. Lots right? of history. Damn. Like it's like one of the biggest, right? Like you guys have had a you've had a lot to say. And I just I'm yeah. just curious. I'm just curious because you asked about the forest mm -hmm. and you asked about like if we talk about it or not mm -hmm. and like like let me ask you this question when you compare the the lp that is now mm -hmm. to the lp that was prior to that mm -hmm. what do you what do you see well i'm not gonna lie that wwe shit's pretty epic i saw that i was like damn i can't hate on that that's just it's crazy so sick. the flips how he's a big mm -hmm. guy flipping like yeah. that don't even make and sense like those guys trained for like decades to be able to do that shit. i don't even know how He's, He's just naturally athletic and like super and, and just a, a incredible. Performer. I mean, it's been his goal since day one to be the biggest entertainer, sure, yeah. in the world, you know. Yeah. But I just like it, it goes back to that. Yeah, that. he's matured. Yeah, of course, he's matured. Yeah. The only thing, the only thing I can really say bad about uh, Logan at this point is just that, you know, the crypto stuff is sometimes a little fucking sh the dink doink. Honestly, is probably the the thing. I mean, here for example, here we are, the Godfathers. Mm -hmm. have, you gave uh, me the dog. Uh, Jeff has a cat. And but I never you're, even you're got, the I got like fucked because of that whole thing. I never even got anything. I got lost money, yeah. bro. What is that, Every, a spring? Like, What's up? What is that, a spring? It's the Dink Doink mascot. Oh. Logan Paul uh -huh. voiced it and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's the one that sings. 
Ding Dong is my favorite ding coin. Dong, damn, that was made just now, huh? They got our exact yeah, Cam, outfit. That's what Cam does. Oh, damn. Good work, Isn't Cam. it funny how shit like this is like the worst thing that could ever... Like, bro, like, <laughs> imagine him calling me about this like... Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, we have this stupid thing where we make a cartoon about some dumb shit and all of a sudden I'm losing sponsorships. I'm still hearing about it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Bro, like, dude, like, what the fuck? Logan, I, I feel worse for the poor kid that fucking thought it was funny. Right. And, start, and made it. And he's like, yo, here's a funny idea now. Like, I don't know who the really fuck it is. It pissed off a lot of people, bro. Well, yeah. No, no, no. I mean, it pissed <laughs> off us, bro. Like, fuck, dude. Look at that. Let me, let me. Look, really at quick. the end of the day, that song's kind of fire. It is gas. Yeah. It's super catchy. We all sing it in the office like yeah, every day. Yeah, we'd get down with that song. Like, that song will live forever because it's so fire. You're right. Just uh, what I'm saying is back to the thing about, like, speaking in absolutes without having absolute facts. Like, this is another one of those situations. Like, there just is, there's nothing there. They're just never, the kid, the kid has since day one wanted to build community. His new project is a great fucking project. Somebody sold. I think the issue, let, sold let me put, put it this way. It there's a lot of people involved in projects. Mm -hmm. A lot. It's not just one person and a, and, and a project. There's, Someone there's, said that Logan's there's devs. The, the there's designed the logo and basically he owned half the project. No shot. The no, kid he, doesn't have fucking it doesn't have time to do anything. What, he doesn't give a fuck about any of this. Never never made a dollar on any of these projects. Not one fucking dollar, dude. How don't you piss? Zero. How don't you piss at all through these episodes? I guess, you know, I, I, I have a sensitive bladder. I, I piss a lot, but during the show, I think I just put it in the vault. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm worried about your hydration. No, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. I mean. I get in trouble for pissing on Impulsive. That's one thing I will say about, about LP. He does not have any patience for small bladders. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I'll run to the That's bathroom. That's my one like qualm. Maybe after two and, two and a half, maybe three hours. I'll, yeah. I'll go. A lot of times when you feel like you're craving a snack, mm -hmm. a lot of times you're just dehydrated. You need water. That's a good point. It'll man. quench your appetite. That's that's actually really good advice. You I'm could trying just to do slam that down when waters I get hungry. and then you won't be hungry. Yeah. Because you get that sensation of being full. I know it doesn't taste as good, but yeah. you slam that water down room temp. Sometimes Forget I feel about. like an addict for food. Do you know what I mean? Like he looks at me. Well, I'm just, <laughs> bro. That's that's me. <laughs> sorry. Come on. I, know, I did. Come on. I was Put the beef to, back in. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring it back. I'm actually just fucking with you at this but, point. But, I'm not getting very many words in, so when I can, you know. Do you know what I'm talking about, Tana? Do you ever feel like you're addicted to food? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> food. No, no, drugs. No, no, no. no, but I. All of it. Yeah, I don't really do any drugs these days. You feel but, like a food addict? Yeah, I do. I can't fucking control myself. Look at me. I used to be skinny not that long ago. You guys saw? I have a cheeseburger review channel, Ethan. I but you're, uh, you look good, bro. Yeah, well. Do have you do you ever get a chance to work out or would you consider doing it? It's I so do. powerful, dude. It's <laughs> No, I don't mean it like that. I just no, mean we uh, talk about yes. <laughs> but I know you you exercise a lot. It's therapeutic for you, right? Yeah. I fucking hate it. I run it. a lot oh, for the mental. And that's good. And I'm, God bless you. I'm jealous for that. It's like, probably a feeling of hate productivity. It. You know, I feel like I did something hard. Yeah. yeah. So I don't feel like a loser. Right. You know, but we can talk about mental issues all the time. And I, I think we stick to the beef. Today. You want to get, okay, we'll give we'll stick to the beef. We have an I agenda. Do, uh, I, I do <laughs> health talks and, and stuff like that all the time. You are a skinny legend. You're trying to keep your body fat down so you look jacked. No, no, no. I got uh, I had a little basal cell skin cancer right here, oh, no. so I couldn't work out at all. I have stitches in right now. Wait, it was mel melanoma or whatever? Or basal what? cell. What is basal cell? It's a form of skin cancer. Sounds like a plant. But I don't like to complain garden. about, about myself yeah. too much. It's no, it's done. I'm just curious. I'm 100 percent free. Take Wait, care. is it super bad? Snipped like, it off. Basil? No, it's just, I go they out in the sun a lot. I go out and run every day with my shirt off. That was what I do every morning. I would morning. too if I had fucking, yeah. I'd be sure. And now, he oils up his stomach too. If you oil that's, up that's when you run? That's not true. No. He's Did you wear sunscreen when you run? I wasn't. Now I do. Yeah. Now, now I've been running with shirts on, but yeah, I couldn't lift weights. So I'm a little skinnier right now than usual, but. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take this meat home. Eat it all. Get tonight. this all good. I'm glad someone's gonna. Consider I'm gonna that. eat it all. Good. All right. So Mike, we had the, we had the these beefs that we talked about. I never read your tweet. I'll just read it for posterity's sake. Fuck. You said. Well, no. It was, you mean you got me. Dear H3, I saw your segment about Lana on today's upload. I'm not gonna get into your disgusting rhetoric. I like you. Rhetoric is like, oh fuck, he's going there. <laughs> as it's your brand to spew hate disguised as comedy. It's both. It's, there's no disguise. <laughs> it's, it's in plain sight. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's you know. 
Uh, but she retired three years ago. If you're going to call yourself a podcast host, at least do some research. Yeah, I thought I thought it was interesting that you focused on the retired <laughs> part and not the blast no, be- China part. No, because you were saying it as if it was happening like in real time. I see. I see. Yeah. You're but like, I- dude, like earlier today, she got a 30 foot cock. Like, yeah, yeah. OK, so, yeah. Dem- not even 30 feet. It's 20 yards. 20 yards. That's a lot. That's, <laughs> that's very 60 long. That's 60 feet. Yeah. yeah. Bro, okay, are you guys mentally imagining the size of that penis, bro? It's tough. <laughs> that's, that's so that's, big. Yeah, that's yeah. a fifth of a football field, yeah. bro. Yeah, no, that's too big. Like, dude, Mandingo and, like, Dread and those guys, they're, like, not even close. The to best that, of them dude. couldn't take that. No. But I'll tell you what. I apologize to Lana. I think she deserves an apology for that stuff, you know. Well, I'll have her uh, come spin the crank then. You gonna yeah, say anything yeah, to me? Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> well, so and well, you want to check well, her to come spin the fucking crank? Yeah, if she's in nearby. <laughs> um, so we crank. did dink doink. We talked about um, you uh, the financing the house with the NFT. Yep, that was awesome. That was recent. Anything I do that has a fucking sponsor says sponsored in it. So, so did you really lend them yeah. a board ape? In, into that protocol, got a loan, but and still haven't even paid the loan back. Believe it or not, I still have to pay the loan. I don't have the eight. How much did they loan you? Two hundred. Two hundred thousand. Yeah. And do you think it, it's like that for everybody or just you? So they offer uh, arcade. It's oh fuck. You don't have to. How do they make it. money from having a fucking it's, NFT? They run a. Uh, it's it's the same as any other lending protocol. So they have there's an interest rate on it, and so you have on the, an NFT. It, yes, and so you would so they would give you a loan, and you would pay back with a couple points of. But that's just collateral. Yeah, yeah, they'll give you a loan against it. I mean, dude, it's it, it, it. Listen, as much shit as we talk, or, or as you guys talking, we do too about like the crypto and the NFT space. It is a it is a potentially meaningful field that could yield something in the future. Yeah, I agree. It's just it's so it's full so of Charlotte right now. It's stuff. so it's. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm with you, and that's why. And that's why when you when those comments were coming out, it was especially fucking painful because one, it interfered for me personally with stuff that I was doing on the non crypto side, but also for LP, like once again, not to just keep saying this, but he doesn't, he does, he's a so, he, LP is a straightforward fucking person. He do you guys do acknowledge that. that it that it'll look shady? I think that you had, I think that there was stuff that looked shady. Yeah. yeah. I, I, not for me because my, you, my you, wall well, is public. I see I you, ne- you never, you were involved. You just got wrangled into it. To making of it. And yeah. I think he did too. You know what I'm saying? He, like, he was involved. Come on. He was involved in the whole, fu- I'm not here to litigate. I Logan's just don't have the so. specifics I don't about, about anything. That. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. Like, okay. But I know, Good. but here, here's what I'll say. Just one more, like, last macro point. I know him as a person, and I know he would never do that. Okay. I just know that for a fucking fact. All right. This douchebag 2020. Uh, this I apologize for, Mike. During Frenemies, the Steamies, we did nominate you for Douchebag of the Year. Didn't I Didn't I win? No, no, no. Um, I don't think so. Didn't mean to even win, huh? Did I win? I don't think you were nominated. Oh, okay. No, you you were looked not. at me. I was like, nah, yeah, no, walking I into this? No, I no, no. Win. Let's see. 20, let's take a look at the nominees, shall we? Biggest douchebag of 2020. Yeah. Mike Mash. <laughs> He's wearing a dress. He's wearing a dress. Wearing a dress doing whippets. Oh, th- this got you in trouble, right? The dress No, thing. it got George. George took more heat from it. It, it, it caused, oh, it birthed a yeah. major problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's, no, he's, he's, There's no one on the show who's more relatable than me. People relate to my <laughs> shit all the time. Bad stuff. Still, I'm sorry. Ethan, you are a piece. Oh, I think Kim Star. He takes a dub on any category he's in. Oh, fucking garbage. <laughs> garbage. Everybody <laughs> tweet. Yeah, uh, but you guys, you want to see who won? James Charles, Jeffree Star, Jack. This Jack. was the whole impulsive that podcast, was... like, um, guests. <laughs> Jack is a joke for the record. Jack, we love you. So Jack knows. <laughs> Trisha insisted that we include that, and I thought, well, biggest douchebag of the year. Jack is so nice. His, Get all of it. Think anything. He, he totally just made did. a bit like. Although he didn't even show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mike is. <laughs> Mike, I wouldn't be mad bro. if Mike won. He's well, he's very douchey. I mean, he's nice. He's a nice guy. He's Open nice. the envelope. Uh, I'm gonna go with Jack Holmes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's get a drum roll. Biggest douchebag of 2020. I'm, I'm Here we go. And the winner goes <laughs> to. <laughs> Is it Mike? Keemstar! 
Yeah, yeah. Not yeah, surprised. I think he took. I think he took it by a mile. You guys uh, fucking hate each other, dude. Can I ask you a, like a couple <laughs> questions about that? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, what? Like, what goes through your mind that you want to keep like engaging with it? At Do you this know what point, I'm saying? I like, think it's just funny. It's fucking funny because he's such a. And I would ask him the same question. It's like, what are you guys getting? I, I guess like, what do they say? Like, dirty laundry pays the bills. Like, just like share that. an ambulance already. Get it over with. <laughs> you know, dude, you guys don't know what actually what it's. No, we don't know. I, I don't, don't want to. I don't want to get into of it. Yeah, I, I, I have no yeah, idea. I remember it. you even asked me. You were, I was like, bro, I have no idea about your beefs. You know, look at how many you have. How am I going to follow? This? <laughs> well, me and him have gotten into it multiple times on Twitter over over shit like. His, his some of his stances on on politics, mental it, health, it, it hurts. It hurts. Dude, it's me. just so. And I've and me and him, are, me and him are, are cordial. And and you know, like he'll text me and ask me questions. And you know, he's he hasn't. I'll say this: he hasn't done anything the way that he does stuff to you to me. So I can't really say anything. But like, he has some takes on Twitter that make me hurt, like I feel painful. That. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying. And yeah, so like, I yeah. just I'll always just tweet back, and I hope that maybe I can affect his thought process in some way. Death yep. to all Jews. Yeah, yeah. He said that. He said, "Who was that? Was that, that was Dan? Star. Oh, millions I of Jews." Well, what he Sorry, said, Dan. I, I had sure to come from that direction. Dan, did you say that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> he he was on Twitter once, and he goes, "Everybody, go write Ethan on Twitter." Death, Death to all, to all Jews. Jews. I mean, like, dude's out of control. Well, you guys were nasty. You guys, this was different times, right? Like, you guys were. I think it was like you, last week. No, <laughs> you guys Packers. were fucking ruthless back in the day, bro. You were too. You guys so were the, th the thing is about Keemstar is that ugh, the dude was like trying to ruin my life, like literally for years. And I never responded and talked back to him. And he started this rumor that like I stole money for a loss. You, I did this loss, big copyright lawsuit a while ago. And Philly D started this GoFundMe to help fund the lawsuit. And he was saying that I stole the money and stuff. And it, it was, he was saying that for a long time. And it just really caused a lot of trouble for me. And then I kind of just bust, popped the lid, made like a whole thing about him. And, and from now, I just, I just really like making fun of him. Well, and you guys have had, you guys like started a whole like, that whole like sponsorship war too. That was fucking. It's not really a war. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how to uh, react to like, what, like, I don't know. I just don't like know enough massacre. about all no, of it. That's what I thought you were saying. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to. Uh, whatever. I don't care about Deep Star. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm fuck, not too familiar with Yeah, you. whatever. Yeah. So, uh, the last thing on Mike's uh, docket is. Um, we, I said that you're. Can, I, can you please stop calling me a fucking scammer now? I literally never scammed anyone yeah, yeah, ever, yeah. bro. Yeah, I believe Not that a, you weren't involved. I, I, I'm telling you, dude, I'll tell it you, never I'll fucking tell you, happened. I, I believe that you weren't involved. Logan, the my, I'm still withholding a little judgment. Bro. I I, I believe that you believe that he wasn't. No, 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 no. Trust me, no Godfather music, did, bro. Like, take he, it, he, take it. He he is but not I, capable. Yeah. He is not capable of of doing that to his community. You want to take that or should I do the voice? We come in, we sit down at the table. Respect. To tell the truth of the matters. Listen, can we all three do it? Yeah. Mine's awful. You want to cry, Tanner? Right? Yeah, Godfather. Come in here out of respect. You know what I'll, I'll You bad mouth off dear friend I Logan Paul. <laughs> I believe you when you say that you had nothing to do with it. Are you, we're going to do that's it That's good. No, that's good. See, we're getting somewhere. And we're time, using comedy to get there. This is beautiful. <laughs> but at the same time. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> he's a good kid and you're going to let him walk. You broke my heart. You're gonna end this thing once and for all. All right, all right, stop. I see your fucking fingers moving. <laughs> Cut the shit. Cut the fucking Let's shit. Move on. Go. Move on. It's move fucking it's on. But I, I, I absolve you. Should we put the beat? Yeah, in no, there? I absolve you. And so I think you know. I think I think me and you can can happily squash the beef. Yeah. Or you want to do the honors? But can I ask you a quick, is, was it intimidating the first time that you were intimate with Lana? Not really. Not not really. Uh, because I also don't, like, fit the build of, like, a normal, like, sexual male either. Like, it's not like, like, for example, she wasn't the first porn star that I was with. Mm -hmm, you know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Or the mm -hmm. eighth. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it wasn't wow, like, it wasn't. Uh, that's And by the way, I hope you know that's not a brag it at all. It sounded like, like it. it, it 
please. It's not. It's it's actually not. I'm, I have a problem. But that that may yeah. So so it was not a problem like that. I'm not like I'm not like a sex addict, but like I just I just wish I could do a better job with like. Um, we're not doing a therapy. Does that mean you know where the clitoris is or? No, I still don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. It's a little it's a little goofy. You gotta go. Charlie M. You gotta kind of put it in the middle. Charlie fucking M. Yeah. So so this, is that why you guys got the vice? Because of casino. Honestly, uh, I'm yeah, not I'll say sure, but that's <laughs> how I knew the name of it. Advice. I like the casino reference. Next time it's your head, you understand? Nice. Beautiful. I did one squash beef. I'm happy. I'm happy. Thank you, Mike. Can I ask a question? Uh, originally, you reached out. And you said, hey, the three of us want to come on. Yeah, they hadn't even confirmed yet. I just really okay, because yeah. I was like, whoa, this is this is really. Well, I know they would thing. get a kick out of it. They'd want to do it. That's you know? cool. Yeah, I appreciate y'all coming here, actually. Same. Listen, We're happy I, to be here. Yeah, we were excited to come down. Yeah, I was Thought excited was to have you guys down here. Honestly, I'm happy to squash. It's my first time actually meeting all you guys. Yeah, you're taller oh. in person than I thought. You guys you'd are be. fucking giants, dude. Well, that's that's like a known thing, you know. No, I but I get that. So but I get that every time I run into. I didn't know you guys were that tall. What are you six five, six, six four? Three. No, you're not six five. Six three, six three. Six three. Yeah. This Zach's been lying about his height for fucking. By years. I'm six two. <laughs> he's been saying he's six four. Uh, no, 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 no. And it's like, no. Why I said I said I'm six. Valor, you're already tall, bro. Who's I tall? said I'm six three. Tall. I'm much taller. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's a manlet. He's a manlet. Wow. Dude, me and, and also, like, there is one more, like, little beef, like a side beef. Me and Zach, dude, had, like, it wasn't all me and you, dude. Like, <clears throat> Zach instigated a lot of the beef. And actually, I'm glad you brought that up because we we want to do a ceremonial. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, can you grab the, the ceremonial items, please? And what we want is an, an exchange item between the two of you to represent. I thought we did that with the bracelets. Yeah, the, the bracelets is one aspect, but you, you guys specifically have a special thing. And so, yeah, bring on the, the so in honor of of our newfound friendship, Zach has in his possession <laughs> two pairs of Bro, spoiled I, gym I shorts. The story behind this. this. What did Mike actually No, I I have to ask this. Where did this story come from? Because because you have to understand, because of your foot art soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> these stories grow wings. Like I'm halfway surprised. <laughs> I'm halfway surprised that there's not like a Dink Toink s cartoon about me shitting my pants. Well, Zach, here you can use my mic. Um, and now that I said that, there probably will be. On, on I, this case, by the way, it. on this case, I can say I had nothing to do with it. It was all Zach. Uh, well, first off, I just want to say you're you're a fucking homie, dude. I'm sorry for what I said. You're a fucking real G and like a cool fucking dude. But uh, but did. Yeah, pull, hold up the shitty gym shorts just so the people can see. So that says his Zach's name. Well, show the shit stain. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Mike, if you could flip that around for me. Shit stain. So brothers brothers in arms or brothers butts. Shit. Yeah, shit. Oh, you guys should exchange him like uh, basketball players at the end of a game. <laughs> so have you ever Beautiful. shit your pants ever? Because you do talk about it a lot. Yes, but not at the gym, which is what it, I, I did. I have. So that's why I was like slightly curious as to where it started from. So there was this uh, situation uh, where I was at my sister's wedding. Yeah. Uh, my little sister's wedding. Are you are you cool with this co huh? conversation? It's pretty grotesque. Oh, do your thing. So I was at my sister. I don't know. It's Elegant? a woman in the room. A woman? I try to what? be respectful. What do you think? They we can't discuss shit in front of her. I don't know. It's just a, it's my traditional. Tell me bill. about you it's my your pants. Bill. No, so I was at my little sister's wedding in D.C. She has. Do you want to apologize for? No, no, okay. She has this she has this <laughs> wedding. She has this wedding and I have to give the the uh speech for some reason I gave her speech. Like I guess my sister didn't want to do it. She was nervous, some shit. Right. But I, you know, have this anxiety and stress. And the night before I was out networking, like I like to do, <laughs> and I went and I had a, a gas station Cubano sandwich. Oh, I don't get you, man. In Washington, DC. Oh, Not advisable, God, right? So, you know, I, I, I'm about to give the speech and I start feeling these like gurgles in my stomach, right? And I go and I give the speech and everything goes fine, right? And I'm in this tuxedo. Everything goes fine, I crush it. But my stomach continues to gurgle, right? Uh. And at some point I go downstairs into the little bathroom there and it's just a one stalled reception hall bathroom. And I, I'm pretty sure I dist the, the toilet actually fell apart under the weight of a Hiroshima style shitting yeah. situation. Been there, bro. But I thought I had gotten through it, right? So I put my pants back on. I do like a little water on the toilet paper, like you do at the sink, and you come back into the stall and you handle it, right? 
So that night, we go out and we go to the W, which sits above the Capitol building in DC. It's this really nice, picturesque place. So we're gonna have the, the after party there. I go into the bathroom and I'm standing at the urinal for one second. And as I'm peeing, I squeeze out a quick fart. Oh no, dude. Yep, I yep. My pants today. Thank you, thank you. So, so, in, that. so, in, so in essence, you're not wrong. Right. But it didn't happen at the gym. So, I was, in your defense, you started the rumor before he ever even admit to shit. Correct. So. This story. Is, and then what? What when when you said, "Oh, I shit myself," then we stack out a party because he's like, "Oh, well, now now we have." Well, where did you get the sound bite from? Dude, yeah, I, I watch you like a hawk, man. It was on Paulson. <laughs> yeah, dude, right? I that's my job is yeah, to I watch everything, that. and when people say that. dumb shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but uh, I'm a fellow shitter, like have accident. <laughs> I've shit on lawns before. Uh, which Bro, our audience knows. He, 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 he. His, his ex claim to fame is that he pulled over and shit on someone's grass and then just left it there. Like so front that, lawn? Yeah, front yeah. lawn. How'd you wipe? What? How'd you wipe? I had a towel in my car, thankfully, but I had to go home. I was on my way to school at the time. And uh, yeah, it was shit all over my car seat. It was fucking awful. And, le and like a serial killer, he returned to the scene of the crime the next day. I have a picture. I can show you later if you want to see it. <laughs> And I went back the next day and it was all deflated, dude. <laughs> like it like molded into yeah, the grass. Dude. <laughs> yeah. They probably so you, so, a dog or something. Go ahead. Oh, dude, no. Dude, well, dude. now I have these, oh. bro. This was really nice. Yeah, I appreciate so. it. And I, We're brother and shit. God, thank you, bro. We cool. should shit our pants together sometime. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay, good. Holy thank you, Zach. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, hugs. <laughs> wow. This is, this is a special day. Wow. This, is, this is a special day. Dude, and also, just so you know, I'm no longer allowed at Men's Warehouse. What? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do at Men's Warehouse? Because it was a rental tuxedo. Oh, wow. shit, you returned Yo, shit, it? shit, yeah. I had to give it back, bro. You returned it with the shit scene? Nah, I, like, did my best, but I don't think it was... Why don't you just keep it? Be like, yeah, I can't, I can't. Because I wasn't... On, you really gave I wasn't, shitty I wasn't doing content yet, so I was still making love sack money. And, like, to buy a t random t shit. Love sack, tuxedo. Love sack? What's that? That was the company I worked for before I became a... What's love sack? C-list creator. Oh, uh, it's a make they make giant uh bean bag oh, okay, That's okay. still your contact in my phone. I know like, everybody, everybody still has me. Damn, you returned a shitty tux? That's awesome. It was like know. like it was like residue, like you know what oh. I mean? Like, oh, damn. Do you I feel really bad for everyone in your audience, which by the way is probably one of the more creative and intelligent audiences on, on the internet. <laughs> Thanks, I just bro. want to go ahead and say that. Mike, did you get any brown on your thumb from the the, the shorts? Is there any like residue on your hand? Like it, my fingers feel a little bit more oily than yeah, I got a little brown on there, dude. Ugh. We can have a thumb wrestle. Oh, later. you guys want to see the picture of Zach's shit? I mean, I could pull it up. Is that, we move past, just we thinking move past about it. Right. Right. Move past yeah. it. Yeah. Move past yeah. it. I think you're gunning for your yeah, opportunity. Yeah, I'm ready. I just want to get it over with. I'm all about just powering through it, you know? It's like the ninth inning right now. I nothing to hide. What, how bad can it be? I don't know what this is. This just got passed to me. I don't know if this is something you're interested in, um, but this is, I think... My doinks today. Oh, that's you shitting your pants. That's inappropriate. I'm sorry. Wait, actually? Yeah, Did you guys have that graphic made? Yeah, no, no, right when you said it. How is that? And they're even the same orange shorts, dude. Yeah, like, no, how do you guys you work at your that pants. speed? Yeah, you know, like you said, we have we have an operation here. The speed is impressive. I just dinked my doink. Thank you. Well, anyway, I'm glad that we we, we now have, I think, found an understanding. And I think that's so a now we thing. can fight against radical people on Twitter. To and I, I think you had some really base takes on Twitter lately that I really like to see, you know, and I think we align a lot on that, which which I appreciate people that, uh, you know, are willing to to say and what, in my opinion, is the right thing. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world where I think is like objectively there's good and there's the wrong side of shit. It's just really frustrating because it just feels like. It seems so common sense. Yeah. And having to even voice it hurts a little bit because you're like, why am I saying something that everyone should already understand? It That's now? what I think, too. And we're talking about, like, you know, mass shootings and abortion and stuff like that. But anyway. Anyways, yeah. Okay, Jeff, my bestie, official bestie. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks, bro. Nice to meet you, by the way. Very How nice. tall are you? Six one, six. Six two. Because you guys seem like the same height. No, Mike's. He's taller. taller. Yeah, yeah. A taller guy. Yeah. Um, Is that it? That's uh, so <laughs> right. Cool, man. <laughs> Spin the crank, dude. <laughs> so the obvious one, first off, you know, is the is the frenemies incident. Yeah. 
okay. which we touched on a little bit. You want to mm -hmm. do you want to unpack that more? Uh, there weren't any revelations I've had recently. New memories came. Uh, actually, yeah, there was. I looked up everything because I was like, I got to fucking debunk this. You know, mm. I was in a parade that day. I don't remember. I'm not, I don't know what this has to do with anything. Go ahead. No, I just what found videos. You were at a parade? I, was at, I had, yeah, because you guys were asking me about the day, like what happened. And I, I was just like, I don't fucking know. It's yeah, three years yeah, ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. I went to a party with a bunch of guys. I think I was initiated into that crew a couple of vlogs before that, you know, so. Oh, okay. Um, But yeah, everything still the same. I don't know what you really want to change about that, except, you know, I was accused of things that I didn't. And that's why I came on the show. That's why I wanted to come on the show because absolutely not have I ever done any of the stuff that you guys were. Like, the main accusation up. being that you you provided alcohol. Yeah. For the girls who were not twenty one, mm -hmm. or and also they were taken advantage of. But obviously, first of all, I believe you by didn't Dom, have anything by, to, by Dom. Yeah, by Dom. I don't think you had anything to do with that. I don't think you knew what was going on. Our I shots of us in the vlog were inserted after. That's what I learned that there were shots of you guys peeking in the room. Even the poor started. kid, Al like Alex had fucking just lived there. And then he was just thrown in like a reaction shot of like, I don't know what he was doing. But oh, yeah. Smelling of, but, it was kind of fucked because everyone peeking a, in there looked, it just looked so bad. Horrible. Yeah. Like horrible. even though you weren't there, like the, the message of it was like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, horrible. For you guys who don't know, there was, you got, I'm sure you guys know about the situation, but. Uh, when Dom like apparently essayed this girl and then there, there was clips in that episode of everyone peeking in the room mm -hmm. while they were intimate and being like yo they're hot yo what the fuck and so it was like yeah, yeah. those were just nasty. superimposed in like they were added in after or? yeah like Joe Bricks vlogs have always been kind of a splice of random got clips. it got it and the reason I believe he has that, a vision for how he wants things to look yeah mm -hmm. and yeah the reason I believe you when you say that is because the end is definitely shot on a different day when yeah. Dom is like, uh, the girls said that too. I wasn't there for that, but yeah. Yeah. When Dom was like all sweaty, he's like, yo, I had a threesome or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I never do content like that. I never did. I was never into sexual stuff, mm -hmm, not, um, mm -hmm. you know, and to get basically like, that's like a me too type. Not, no, actually, no, it's, it's something completely different. It's an assault and there's a real victim. And for me to be tied into that, you know, it hurt. It hurt for a while. I mean, it still does. I'll still get comments from the, the foot uh, soldiers and stuff like that. <laughs> and yeah. By the way, that's hurts. an ironic reference. I just want even though people to I, know that. I even really. though I, you yeah. know, I, I didn't do what they said I did, it still hurts. Well, so the pro the pro I think the problem was that the article was written and specifically named you, right? Yeah. And so that's kind of what we were going off of. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, now that some time has passed and I've got to know you a little bit more, you know, I, I, I the thing is, I, I do believe you because and to be honest, there was by their account too, there was already a bunch of alcohol there. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was always some big bottle of Jack Daniels or something in and, Dom's house. And, 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 and I didn't want to, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you didn't do anything. Right. So. So I don't think it's your cross to bear like a ton of guilt or embarrassment or disassociation forever. I think it's fucked up, you know, how people hold shit over people's heads forever. This was a horrific crime, actually, that happened, but you didn't do it. You know what I mean? And, and so I get that that it's been very painful for you. Of course, I apologize for all the messages I've sent you afterwards Yeah, <laughs> because I was very upset about that. I mean, something like that's horrible. I don't have any. I mean, I, I've been a public figure for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've never had anybody ever say that I did something wrong, like a woman say I did something wrong to mm -hmm, them, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, that hurt. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate, uh, you know, you doing this and clearing that up because it, it was something that I felt would follow me forever, no matter what, because there's no yeah. way to prove it wrong. It's just, he said, she said, you know, I can't go I back mean, in time. Even if, let's say, even if you did buy the alcohol, it's like, you I may didn't. not have. I did. Right, right. Yeah. Right. I believe you. But I'm saying, even if you did, if there's people out there that say, well, he maybe he, I don't believe him. It's like, even if you did buy the alcohol, you may not have known their age, or let's say, you, hypothetically, you may not have known their age. And at the end of the day, you know, it was Dom's decision and David's decision to shoot that video. And like, you know, it's just, you, people should be able to, to move on from shit, you know, 
Dom, fuck him, right? And David, fuck, fuck him. him. I, yeah, but I'm saying him. He, he's, I, yeah, you know, I, t- you didn't I do told him, you know. I mean, I wouldn't share an ambulance with him. He'd be going by himself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dom. There's only one ambulance. Don't make one bed. Right okay, we're sorry. on a serious topic. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Gail fine. Gail I Gail. appreciate it. Uh, yeah, is that it? Squash the beef. You guys. No, there's more. The there's wall. more. No, there's more. Like this one, this feels like some major fucking shit, bro. Well, like yeah, you guys are like, yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. No, it, I mean, that's a horrible thing to have tied to your name. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I just want to say, like, in the report, you know, they specifically named you, right? So that's, I called that reporter I, and I, and I, I yeah, I yeah, I was that upset was about that thing. too. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I, I went after everybody that was spreading lies about me. And I know you didn't know me at the time, you were going off of, you know, your other counterpart at the yeah, time. Yeah. And whatever, you know, like I said, everything made me reevaluate my life and I needed to at the time. Mm. You know, otherwise I might be in a much darker place right now. Mm. So I don't regret anything. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And then there's the thing where like your body came to my house twice. I can't control he's a grown man. I can't control we talked about him. You know, you want me to call him in here? We get another yeah, F on the, on the hat. Line. No, no. I, I, have a, I have a restraining order. <laughs> he goes, I have a restraining. Oh yeah, he, I got, he told I, me to I, ask you if we could drop that. If we can <laughs> <laughs> That's not my problem. Listen, I, I don't the know. first time it happened, someone it showed up on our uh, subreddit. Somebody posted his he made a story on Instagram of him driving past my house at night with the windows open, like my office is facing the street. And like it's a gated community. And he wrote some caption like, We know where you live. Yeah. <laughs> we we can get to you. Some shit like that. And everyone's like, Yo, what the fuck? This is insane. Uh and, and this I text, was your friend that his he, bestie. But you yeah. talk shit. Yeah. My friend I grew up with, yeah. Shit. You're cool with that? <laughs> no, I'm not cool with that. I, I'm saying <laughs> shit happens. Like, I'm okay. I I've made mistakes, you know. That's sad. Well, that. nothing ever That's happened. Why, I mean, I would yeah. get a restraining order if someone was driving past my house as well. So I guess Well, I did actually well, I texted Jeff, I was like, bro. I got to call the police. <laughs> like, no offense. Because we were talking, we were cordial at yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, uh, I got I to gotta call the of police. Course. Yeah, yeah. Well, it happened again. <laughs> it happened again. Like, one was during the day, one was during the night. And I was like, bro, I got I to. Gotta, yeah, bro, he haunts me the, too. I, yeah. I, I'm worried about yeah. him too, yeah. you know? <laughs> Damn. But actually, it was a good thing because we tightened our security. So He just exposed some holes. Yeah, like, he exposed some holes. Them. He got in so fucking easy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah so so that Damn. happened um no thank you stuff, cody that, yeah thank you and for the stuff, up those holes <laughs> yeah thanks bro shout out <laughs> glad you're overseas though he wants a consulting yeah. rate from you yeah no <laughs> i'm glad you're just i'm when he went back to miami i was monitoring him he went back to miami i could tell in his insta stories i was like thank god fucking guy he's <laughs> he's actually he picked up skydiving and base jumping so uh, the odds are looking good for you you know <laughs> Base jumping is like one out of ten you die. Yeah, or something. I could be wrong. Wait, like, is that the one? I don't you... want to put out. No, what'd you say? No absolutes. I don't want to. You jump yeah. off a building or a cliff and you uh, throw. You have one parachute. parachute. You don't have the oh, extra is one. Is it really like, that deadly? Out of the plane. It's bad. Yeah. It's just one. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think really like dangerous. two or three guys recently just died. Like Alvin, and like, he's wingsuit too. Yeah. You know those like squirrel suits. He does that shit. And he's two hundred fifty pounds. That's the gnarliest. Would, shit. Do you slightly worry about him hiking to the top of the Hollywood sign and wingsuiting directly into your Yeah, I am. Like worried about everything through the fucking window and he's a big. Fucking guy, bro. Like, let me tell he's you, he's trying to get verified on Instagram, and he was like, "Yo, I need more press because there was press about I got press. You gave him press. <laughs> yeah. <Filed a> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, I sent this into Instagram. Bro, to get verified, he gets verified <laughs> off the strength of a police report. He's yeah. a fucking legend. Yeah, yeah. it's not his legend. name though. You had the wrong name. You didn't have his correct name. I'll give you. Uh, oh, you uh, I'll alias? connect you guys so you can. But talk. you know what? You no, know his, what? He just permanently goes off. Uh, you know what? I alias. appreciate the loyalty. He's a good soldier. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a soldier. He brought him the fucking last trip that we were on. He fucking. Okay, don't trash Cody. I, still, I didn't. I, I didn't deal deal trash him. him. Cody, Cody, He's going to be at my fucking Cody, door. Listen, You're next, bro. You Cody, don't want any. I did uh, not say anything. He He's, just. He told me he couldn't get in the down. Uber. We were going to a party yeah. for the chain smokers. And he was like, look, he you can't be bringing your friends I around. I didn't I'm know like, that he bro. was coming. And there wasn't enough. Well, you were me- going backstage and stuff. Yes. And he, I, he, I had to clear the people that I was with. And all of a sudden, six foot nine, Cody comes out in a wingsuit. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, like, come on, let me come. And yeah. just go, tries to wingsuit into the Uber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hey, Jeff, man, like, isn't this the same dude that tried to. <laughs> Look, he, uh, where we yeah. come from, War he, fucking- he grew up on rap music and stuff like that. And, you know, he's just inspired by that, you know, 
The streets. The street I like lifestyle. rap music too. Well, you don't live your life like it. He's been yeah, no. in prison multiple times yeah. for uh, a large portion of his life. And, you know, I always think one day he's going to learn his lesson from these arrests and he just doesn't. He well, just has, keeps, he? Uh, has he been good lately? I mean, he's been good lately. He's sober now. Yeah, and, that's a start. Um, yeah. He's got a lot of mental illnesses and he's, he's uh, you know. Not the mental let's, not, uh, let's stop. I don't want to blame yeah, this mental illnesses. Listen, no, but, Cody, you're, you're a good soldier. He's a, yeah, he's a good soldier. You're a on loyal your team, man. So you're welcome. you got a soldier. And please, I just want you to know, Cody, no horse heads. <laughs> no beef. You're a good man. Just leave me the fuck alone. He did kill a dog <laughs> once by accident. No, come on, come on. That's it. That's it. <laughs> go to the next. Go he, to the next. You know, next. like no, when please, he please, from Jeff, not throwing this, it up dude. in the air. And oh, let's not get into that. Strange. I don't want. Well, you it. got into it. You can't say something. And did then that say, affect not... him? Probably. Yeah. yeah, he was young at the time, uh, but he was always so big. You know, he, he, he's like Lenny from Rice. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I said. Just squeezing dogs. Yeah, yeah. By accident, he didn't mean to. Yeah, I guess that's telling that story. According to this, uh, point two, half of, almost half a percent of base jumpers are injured, and point zero four percent per jump. I mean, you don't stub your toe if something goes wrong. No, yeah, you know, if you're injured, I think they're. But just, that's per jump that you. How got. do you get injured? Yeah, how do you get injured base jumping? Is there a it's, way to? It's get, all or nothing. Yeah, like yeah. you. Yeah. No, you kind of just splat. For sure. You turn into that, dude. It's like. You're the beef mm, after yeah. going through the. Yeah, and then the other thing is obviously I made a lot of jokes about your eye. Which, That's all good. You know, I don't. I, I, don't. I, I, I assumed you were a good sport, but it was mostly I was just trying to be. You know, yeah, yeah, of course. I thought that if we, you're gonna you know, dish it, you gotta be able to yeah, take it. It's yeah, all good. Yeah, it is yeah. what it is. I was just messing with Dan too. I don't give I mean, a shit. It's a good. It's like it's a really good opportunity for jokes. During, like it's just you know. Yeah, to be honest, before that, I was like, I'm too good looking to be a comedian, so I need to smash my face or something if I'm going to mm, do this. Mm. I'm just kidding, guys. That was a little joke for Dan. It feels serious. <laughs> it's probably going to get used against you in court. So yeah. Fuck, <laughs> man. Fuck, I take that back. No, no, no. 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 Um, <laughs> that was just deflection. I'm deflecting with my, my insecurities. No, I got you. We're good. Guys, make all the eye jokes you want. It's fine. Okay, thank you. So that that's I was going to bring a blind person in here to just have hanging out with me. Like I'm doing like a make a wish and just, yeah, but, was, uh, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not what is wrong blind. You, so that's a fun. I also have one recent. I mean, you platformed Oliver Tree, which is a problem. I read that perfect, dude. What's your deal with Ethan Klein? You guys friends? No. First of all, Ethan Klein is an abomination of the human race. That dude has no. Notice business. all the cuts. We had to take out he, all the stuff he all, said. Yeah. That was too real about yeah, family, children. I was like, bro, I can't put, I can't air this. He really has been spazzing lately. And dude. especially yeah. with with our current state that we're in, we're trying to squash beef. I didn't even feel comfortable airing this. So you'll see, I put a disclaimer after. Yeah, I saw, I noticed that. You said I'm not BFFs involved. I'm, no. Yeah, this I'm not was involved. before. Yeah, I appreciated that. Online, okay, he's a domestic terrorist. Uh huh. Threatened to I did edit NRA. that picture. Who added no, that? I thought that was funny. I do a little editing. I spice it up with the pictures too. That's just it. That, I mean, what, why would you include that photo? I just thought it was oh, funny. Like, you, you're because you're not actually a domestic terrorist, right? So I put you with this wig on just unsuccessful. To throw he was saying terrorist. it to me. He was saying it at Hyde last week, saying January, the whole thing that happened in January was your part. You were part of it. Why are you actually? No, no, but I, people, I'm, I'm just saying what he said. Upset. I'm not, I did say, and I'm just, this is what I'm just saying it. I'm not saying like, I'm not like saying it. I'm just recapping. I don't know if you saw, I said so much. NRA. Okay. And so it turned into a whole thing. Yeah, I don't think you'd say that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to say stuff like that. You, you can't, I don't think you'd yeah, You, you filmed that, that and put it up, you, you, you yeah, filmed you that and then put it on YouTube? It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it was live. And these guys, oh, it was live. Okay. It was live. Well, it turned into, like, Do Donald Trump Jr. was tweeting about me and shit. It was a whole thing. <laughs> Bro, but like. But my joke about that is I go, it's not like I said. Ding. Right. Let's move fast. I don't want to get roped into this stuff. You are. No laughter. You're a domestic terrorist now, too. Uh, that's my joke because obviously I, you know, I voted for Joe Biden. But it's not. I'm not. It's not my interest to even. Anyway, is so this that's it? Why for me? You a domestic is this terrorist? it? No, no. I have more. Well, yeah, that's it. That's it. See, we're, really, we're we're good. Wow. By the way, I'm just joking. No, it's no terrorism. No James. I'm against violence of all forms. Slay. Cool. That's it. Not that's laughing. it. Laughing. It's not funny. Um. Dan, do you have any shorts or something for me? You know, maybe. Oh, did you make me any gifts or anything like a, a funny? Give him one of your eyes to show you. <laughs> yeah, I want a fucking eye. I want one of your eyes, Dan. Give him your good eye. 
Why should work like why, that. Why do, why do I get the heat? I mean, it, I, I haven't. You guys had beef. You. What was the beef? You said uh, you said strong. You had strong I words. That was all a, a misunderstanding. He thought you had beef strong beef words for Jeff. Whoa, His beef whoa, whoa. is with Let's AB. Own it. Dan looks way tougher with those fake tats on, so I like almost don't want to yeah. fuck with him now. You know? Yeah. He put that arm out, and I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> all right. He, he thought your name was AB, but the beef no, was with you because he thought he had beef with somebody that had. Some TikToks about him or something. Yeah, no, he he looked. I don't have a TikTok account. Dude, I'm Jeff not are, a TikTok. Me and Jeff are boys. I don't. Know what yeah, you're we're about. tight. I yeah. think I was just I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. No, no. But if anything, man. that was a compliment because I was saying you're like a young guy, cool looking, Thank like you, you would be a TikToker. You know? Yeah, no. If I'm, I'm calling your appearance a TikToker, it's a compliment. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe I misunderstood then. Maybe it was a misinterpretation. But we're good. We're good. So, I mean, that's. Oh, so so did you get your own? Did you get? Out of oh, sorry. Should I tip with that in my pocket? Yeah, put that. I'm just really excited to move past this beef because there's just so many meaningful conversations we could be having that just, you know, this feels like, oh, go, oh, Lord. You want that? I, I, can you just maybe put it down for one second, grab it after? <laughs> you, you want a glove? You're just going to, you're going to, yeah. What's that place called? Mama Poo Jeff is or going like raw. You're looking for a nice one? Yeah. Yeah. How's that feel? You got, do you see fatty? Yeah, there you go. Oh well, no, just put it right in the middle. Yep. You just put it in the middle. There you go. Yeah, squeeze that in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, squeeze it. Fucking eye out of your head. <laughs> there we go. That feels good. Wow. Good, that is one squashed beef, my friend. Nice. Wow. Squashing the beef. Play. Captain America or some shit. Mm. You guys all have something to know now. We will save the earth. Is that what we do after? Yes. Yeah. So, so okay. Good. I, mean, I feel great. like lighter. You know good. what I'm saying? Like a like a like a piece of meat has been lifted off my body. <laughs> About the yeah, yeah, a couple of ounces. Twenty four ounces. ounces. <laughs> yeah, it feels good. Yeah, but or, you know, I, I'm happy to see this. You know, I think this was really necessary. This was important, and you yeah. know, he feels lighter, and I'm happy we can, you know have fun in the future i think so and you know i'm I, t the truth is i always liked you three people i did <laughs> i know it's crazy to say and that's why i was like always like the i liked you too before yeah, they yeah. got accused of being a horrible piece of shit domestic person yeah, domestic yeah. Well, i'm a domestic terrorist that's worse yeah so. Slay. um <laughs> i guess I it's just I like a, i guess it's just like a, a a reason to like give people more time to like build out like who they actually are you know what i'm saying as opposed to, like it's good to sit with people and find out who they actually are instead of like this isn't to you but this is like everybody on the internet instead of like basing your entire opinion of someone on 10 second clips mm -hmm. 30 That's second clips, mm -hmm. like yeah i think i'm trying to lead out with a softer touch you know what i mean that's awesome. That's yeah. nice. I love that for you. We need more of that, Ethan, too. Like, like being completely honest, we just need more of that in the fucking world, dude. The world is becoming fucking really cold and heartless and just like, it, it, in a way, it always has been. But I just feel like we continue to move more and more in that direction. I think people need to be better to each other, dude. Like, I think, I think like just that single like tenant is probably the one that we're missing the most of, which is just like, yo, respect and be good to your, to, your, to other people, bro. It's not really that hard of a fucking notion, dude. You, you know what? Um, you know how like these these like reclusives have like a list of bullies that they're gonna yeah. fail when they're older. So I'm crossing your guys' name off. Oh yeah, remember the scene in uh, <laughs> in uh, Billy uh, Madison? Madison? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. sorry, in Billy Madison, my bad. Where he's yeah. like. He's putting the lipstick yeah, on yeah, and he yeah. crosses them off the list. Dude. <laughs> yeah, so I've got Ninja off the list, and this is this is beautiful, you know. Yeah. And and I don't know. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? I mean, now it's the open stage as friends that we could share our innermost, you know, fears, thoughts, desires. Are you happy? I actually am. Yeah. Nice. Me too. At the moment, I'm very happy. Yeah. BFFFs. BFFFs. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that because you know I I knew you were struggling a lot so. Yeah, that's really nice to hear that, that you're in a good place. Hey, I need all the friends I could get, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel I'll that. I'll be here every day, 9 a.m. Come on by. Just bring, don't bring Cody. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get him verified on Instagram. <laughs> but, you know, um, yeah. Happiness is kind of a, it's kind of like an of illusion. Course, it's every, one day like, it's more about like contentness, right? Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's how I feel. I feel content, you know? So this is working. I feel content. It's actually working. Making peace makes yeah. me feel better. No, it does. I'm getting too old night. for that shit. 
And you guys are good guys, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. I just, I'm just excited now that we could like do shows and talk about other shit. You like not have that. to, cause now that we like bat, and by the way, this is like kind of drained to me. I'm like kind of drained now after it, but it would be nice to sit and talk about topics, mental mm -hmm. health, 100%. fucking mm -hmm. I think political, cool. whatever we want to talk about. Now we can talk about shit. We don't have to worry about like, oh, one time he said she's a Twinkie. <laughs> like one time, like he called right, him a scammer. Right. We got to put like, it to bed. Yeah, it's right. like, oh. Yeah, I agree saying? with that. I never thought we'd be at a point where we could podcast about some random shit. There, I mean, you, I guess, I mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that you would ever be down. So, I mean, there, the future is well, yeah, bright. So, so I had, I have invited you on the show and you seem interested. Yeah. But then... Uh, I guess you said I was scary, which I get. And, <laughs> uh, and then you basically no, it's stopped scary. responding. It, well, first but of I get all, it. it was via Twitter DMs, which mm -hmm. I never check. Like, I don't okay. I don't even know if I, like, saw your response. However, I felt like this was an important first. I didn't want our entire first episode to just be about all of the sweet, lovely things you've said mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. me over the yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, now it would be, you know, better. Okay. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I feel good. I think I said a total of four words on this podcast anyway, so we'll have to do one in the future. Um, we can splice in from other, from like your podcast. Or <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm sure. Make it seem like you're more. Yeah. <laughs> you're no, I'm more. here. I'm here. It was great. I think this was, it was a beautiful thing to witness. Yeah, actually, also, actually, you know what I want to say? During that frenemies thing, my name came up a lot in conversations you were having on camera. And you all, and it's kind of, impressive on uh, you always refrained from saying anything bad about me like I, I forget what podcast it was but they brought my name up and you it was it was her podcast oh it was your podcast oh when when trisha was on correct your podcast oh mm -hmm. oh yeah to be honest you, you're, you, i was like damn that's that's honestly really cool you're in that category of people that i would rather just allow to shit on me yeah. than start the war I because know. i feel like if you and I were to go to war, you would find everything awful I've ever done shit. ever. You're good at what you do, Ethan. Well, no, it's just, <laughs> yeah, no, like you're, that, you're a yeah, researcher. Yeah, I'm, and good. I'm good. What were we saying about him on the <laughs> You're good down? at it for sure, you but like I just, the, you're like, yeah, you're, I you're the type that, that uh, could unearth please, a new scandal okay. for me. And I was He's walking the, on a thin line for yeah, a while with a scandal. Oh, yeah. Internet police. You're like inner for the internet. And he has, and he has, he's like the Interpol. Yeah. That's Well, the Interpol's a thing, but he's got, it's, I think it's a testament also to your squad, bro. You just have a Fucking yeah, no, ass. Just, no, we have a good team squad exactly. right infrastructure. I say you got a picture of the Ace family autographed in the bathroom. Oh my god, that's, that's we got that in person. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Well, yeah, yeah, we were at Ace Fest, and I'll tell you, you we, went to Ace Fest, and I'll tell you, we had a good time. We had a hell of a good time. That's what we yeah. said. We said, yeah. So this is turning the leaf, right? We went there, no and way. Austin might be BFF material now. <laughs> really? Yeah, good. we went there. All right. Well, don't just start giving it. Yeah. Now I'm just saying time. maybe. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. Like I just made. Just saying maybe. Lose value. Well, just, if you just start yeah. doing this with everyone, we're gonna yeah, feel like no, it's no. Bad well, he, okay. Maybe. Uh, we're good. We good we're good recurring. Don't risk your recurring guests for some random. Friend, like faux friendship right. like bro we do this shit all the time right like you could hit us up you're like oh i need a little i need some fucking energy today you call me i need some sob stories you call jeff <laughs> i need fucking tana to bring some fucking sassiness you call right. tana right. you know what i'm saying like okay. Okay. now you got us uh, locked in you know, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah but you might need some you might need austin mcbroom to come flex on you or That's something you know and then when i pull up in his lamborghini mm -hmm. but he won't he won't call, he'll come one time he won't come back. We're You're we're right. workers. You're we hustle. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. Jeff calls me, says, yo, come on the show. I want to talk about Andrew Tate today. I go, I talk about Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's your thoughts on Andrew Tate? I'm about? sick of him. I don't okay. I mean, I never really liked him. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, I, I like what Hassan wild. Hassan did. That was cool. Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Would it make you happy? I'm gonna ask you this question. Because cause listen, keep not to keep going back to it, but he is my best friend, and I believe that you've given him a, you haven't given him a proper shake of the feather. Would you be willing to be a little bit more understanding and more friendly towards Logan if he knocked Andrew Tate out? Ooh, yeah. Dude, is that on the table? I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> yes. What if he takes down Tate? Total absolution. Let me ask you this question. Yeah. Do the tickets sell? Yeah. Yeah. That, hell yeah. Yeah. And dude, like, so, so, like, you. That's actually interesting because Tate's, you know, he's a fighter. That's right. Four time kickboxing. He's, where? In Romania? A, yeah, I don't believe basement that. kickboxing league? No, he's made out champion. of plastic. The only thing he's a like, champion. Oh, the videos are out there. The only he's thing a, he's a champion of is human trafficking, dude. 
Does he really traffic? He, like, he right. fought a bunch of bums. And yes, he's old he does. now. Well, he hold has. on. I'm going to do devil's advocate, even though me and you aren't probably that far off on this topic. But like, he, from I'll his, fuck Andrew what Tate up. What he <laughs> says is that he that, that he was absolved. Yeah, he's a liar. He, he's also said that I pay. I moved to Romania. He literally said I moved to Romania because the, the rape laws are like cool here. I did see that, and and he How said, and he says, I li I like living in Romania because I pay off all the costs, Corruption. and nobody will I fuck with that. me. So why the fuck am I supposed to believe him that he just got off because it was a misunderstanding? Yeah. The so it, it, what he did professionally before he was like a multi level marketing scammer mm -hmm. was that he. Uh, you don't like the way I talk about it? No, sorry. No, yeah, I don't know yeah, why. Because I'm going in. But, no, 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 go, 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 go. I just, I hope we get he clipped out in those TikToks and by Andrew Tate's fanboys. They're so many. Oh, they're Maybe crazy. We'll be in so we started awesome. ending up. Dude, they're so wild. I mean, he had a, like a whole farm of web webcam girls. Correct. Like in his basement. A farm. <laughs> Literally. A he was growing. Yeah. And like, <laughs> and then, and then he, what's interesting is um, the U.S. Embassy reported that he was keeping people against their will captive. In his compound, his sex slavery compound, right? And so that's why the Romanian police went in there and rescued some girls who were missing. And he was literally keep fucking human trafficking them into forcing them to do webcam stuff for him. The man's a fucking like next you level like, mobster criminal. Did you like what Hassan did? You like yeah, Hassan? That's great. Hassan did a great job. Yeah, he destroyed. Hey, Portnoy did a great job. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Portnoy did a great job. I didn't watch the whole thing with with Portnoy. The, the thing we so the, I'm being a little light on it today because we're talking about this on the podcast that we have coming out soon, and it's kind of the start of all of it. But he does this to me all the time. He saves the good stuff. Well, uh, as well, I you should. Right? About it. No, no, we no. have it. It's it's. But but anyways, what I was getting at was. Um, the pendulum of societal kind of thoughts on stuff swings back and forth. And as you know, over the past several years, it's been swinging a lot towards woke yeah, yeah. and towards liberalism and pregnant men and whatever other things that are... are I actually disagree. I, it's been swinging to the right. I mean, these are ideas. Cur cur currently, it's yeah. starting to swing back that no, way. No, it's been, dude. Really? You think so? Yeah, since not, Trump... Not as far as internet's concerned. I think the internet... The is woke shit is like cosmetic, bro. The real shit is like having literal the uh, like uh, fascist Christians on the Supreme Court. Yeah, yeah. and fucking repealing uh, abortion rights yeah, for right, women. Right, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, like literally people feeling comfortable enough, like Ben Shapiro and Crowder, to go online and just be like, "Fuck trans people!" Like just saying outright, it's, like, it's "Fuck." No, I'm saying yeah. I think the the pendulum is right now like far right, in my opinion. I believe that it's swinging back that way in a minute. And I think TikTok is helping with that a lot. I think TikTok is a massive fucking contributor. And that's why I think Tate's went, I think that's why Tate's doing so well right now, because I think it's moving back Dude. into that direction. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that people actually believe like here here's one. I think people just haven't seen anything like it before and they'll be sick of it in a month. I, I don't mm -hmm. see I him. Hope so, I think I so. feel that. But listen listen to this. I mean, I have no reason to believe anything this man says. This is probably forty percent of the reason I moved to Romania, because in Eastern Europe None of this garbage flies. If you're going to go to the police and say he raped me back in 1988, then so we should have done something about it then. If you're going to the police and say he raped me yesterday, say, okay, if you've got physical evidence, or is there CCTV proof? Where'd it happen? Okay, let's go interview him right now. And if it wasn't really right, oh, I'd say, oh, we went to the club, we got drunk, she agreed to go back to my house, we started having sex, and then we carried on having sex, and then we had sex, and she didn't say anything wrong, and then she texted me afterwards, and I didn't text back, and now she's saying I raped her. The police would be like, okay, she's an idiot, bye. But it, it, no, not in the West. In the West, you can tell them that exact story, you're still fucked. You're fucked in the West. When people say, why did you in Romania? And I explain my five reasons. One of them is the Me Too era. They go, oh, well, you're a rapist. I say, no, I'm not a fucking rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say, to, to do what I want. I like being free. It's kind of, inc <laughs> it's kind of incredible. Like, apparently, it's, he's been accused of rape enough times. He had to remove, he had to move to Romania to avoid. Did you see, did you see this? Yeah, dude, it's so disturbing, bro. Wait, was that one? A, was that so one fake? Disturbing. Was that one fake? Fake? What do you mean? Where uh, he he he's said beating that, the shit out? Yeah, but he much. said that that was an act. Of course like he's lying. Thing. Of course he's lying. He said it was like some S and M type like shit. What kind of S and M like. where you beat the fucking shit? Isn't that like bondage and stuff? Like he fucked and punched her in the face hard, dude. Well, and she looks scared. Or she was scared. I mean, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm at. That's the question I'm asking. Like, because it, it, there is some nasty shit that goes in on in the sex world, uh, where that's like completely. I guess uh, the girl hasn't said anything to me, but all it is is a clip of him like beating the shit out of a woman. And then he came and said, and, I mean, uh, "By the way, by the way, I'm scared." To me. You know, you probably know this. This is what I do. I just, I just, I. If you don't have someone that brings out the other angle, whether or not I give a fuck about what his I angle get it. is, you're, you're a tater tot. <laughs> 
It's yeah, like, Andrew takes I went the on best a, actor uh, since Omegle, OJ. where you just uh, chat with random people, and I was just challenging kids that like, asked them what they thought on Tate, and anybody who said they liked him, I just said I was gonna fuck him up and just see how mad they get. And they're like, he's a kickboxing world champion. <laughs> you said you're bullshit. gonna fight. That's awesome. I was just trolling, but it was funny to see the reactions of these kids. They how old are they? The people that like him. College kids. Oh my god. Even that that's old. Sad. That I thought it was because TikTok no, ten to eighteen yeah, is the main demo. So I've been attributing a lot of the success to that demo. That's crazy. What right? were you going to say? You were about to defend Andrew. No, I was not, dude. Yeah, you were. I was Go ahead. not. No, I wasn't. I just said that he, to to the point that bringing up the point he was making is that sometimes people do have relationships where there is a level of yeah, but very physical, I don't, sexual. I don't know, bro. Did you see that video? I yeah, send it to show you, it right? to Mike, and I show. I mean, I've I seen know, it. If you want I've to see it. it? Yeah. I, I, you know. I mean, there's no context, right? Right. But. Like, do people that like like in movies? The man, people, the man moved to Romania so he could rape women. So, I'm just saying. Somebody. By it. the way, I'm really not defending. I, dude, I'm with you. No, I get it. I, I get it. Like, I get. It. I get it. I just present the opposing view. I get it. Because otherwise, it turns into Ethan. It turns into a railroad. Listen, you know. Listen. I just think this man doesn't get deserve much of a benefit of the doubt. When he's saying and living in like England this. or Germany or America or any of the Western world right now, you've decided to live in a country where any woman, any ex, any fucking bitch who works at Greg's who you bought Hasty from, at some point in the future can destroy your life. This <laughs> Me Too era bullshit has not Subscribe protected Subscribe now. It's just destroying <laughs> my exclusive content. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he would take the fight with Logan. I think he's Let's all. See tough. what happens. I mean, dude, the dude, thing is that that's got to be a lot of money on the table. A ton of money, yeah. dude. And it's a cool fight for Logan. I think it sells yeah. tickets, and and it. Dude, and it, that would be. And it gives awesome. him the ability, and it gives Logan the chance to beat the fuck out of somebody that a lot of people don't like. Yeah. I would. I would watch that fight. <laughs> That'd be nice. I think anybody would watch that fight. Yeah, I would watch in the that. current. I mean, as long as it gets done soon, because to your point, I mean, Logan says the same thing. He doesn't know how long he's going to be around for. Fair. Yeah. I don't know. He's yeah. He's gonna fall off soon. Um. Yeah. It was entertaining. I did go through like one night of binging, mm -hmm. and then you don't have a choice. It just shows up on your feed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I was sick of it the next. It day. It is entertaining. We and did he's a funny, right? Yeah. But it's like it's entertainment. It's well, and yeah. the one thing you have yeah. to give to him is clearly he knows what the fuck he's doing as it pertains to marketing himself. I'm not. That is that good. Is, yeah. Not, I, I gotta give him that. You have to. You have to. I mean, with the affiliate fucking... link and taking his content, and not having a profile, and just having people share it with TikTok nowadays and how the algorithm works. No, he's a polarizing. It clicked. Some people just find the right moment. They don't have to be a genius. It's just the right moment in time, right mm -hmm. place, right time, and something works. I don't think yeah. it's a genius thing. It's a pyramid scheme. It's been done. Pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean, like, it's incredible, and like, it feels like just a couple months. He went from like relative obscurity to every like insane yeah. fucking notoriety. Mm -hmm. Pretty incredible stuff. If he can, <laughs> I mean, I mean, as long as he can capitalize from fast on it, he can make good. It money. is mm. make a lot of money. We need Logan to come through. How, how does it feel? Um, when did you start OnlyFans? How long ago was that? <laughs> um, I started like a year and a half ago. It's, it's has great. it been like a big, big like blessing for your life in terms of I don't know everything. Um, blessing is an interesting word. It's fun. You like it? It's all. I mean, yeah. it's all positive for you. I, or is it all positive? Yeah. For you? Yeah, it's cool. You should start one with oh your feet. Oh my god, that's what that's what Trisha kept telling me. Yeah. You would actually make money. You'd make a lot of money. They're honestly. Yeah, it'd be Keemstar and uh That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> honestly. What about you and Keemstar just squash all the beef? Just just do some sure. docking in the shower. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A little okay. sex tape vibe. Why don't you start an OnlyFans, Jeff? It's not all about the money for me, Ethan. I don't know. What? I, it is for me. <laughs> um is that an accusation? Because I'm Jewish? <laughs> yeah, well, no, you Are you gonna apologize or not? Uh, entering a different line of work that I, no, I, I, I don't feel any need to. Okay, yeah. you know, more power to you, Tana. I think. I think great. it's your, but <laughs> I'm gonna get him on. I love it. These I'm days, so really, he's gonna be on my only <laughs> sneak, totally against his will. Um, on some Andrew Tate shit, he's gonna be yeah. in my basement. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah! But you know, speak one thing that I really think is great about OnlyFans and that whole industry is what you were touching on. The porn industry is so fucked, Disgusting. and all these 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 like these psychos for the longest time were making money off everyone mm -hmm. else's work. Yep. Now these girls are becoming self-made millionaires, As they rich should. and rich mm -hmm. and rich, doing it all on their own terms. It's awesome. Yep. I've Power always, back to I've the women, to the, to yeah. the talent. Yeah. For I've, sure. I've always had a lot of respect for 
women, uh, sex workers, strippers, anything. I, mm. I don't give a fuck. Cause look at what I did. I sold weed. I, I was a hustler. I sold drugs. Mm. You yeah. know. Now if Tana came to me to collect money, I would give her the money. But I'm saying other people <laughs> may not take her as serious. And you know, yeah. I, I'm just saying I respect it, and I just <laughs> haven't really thought about it. But maybe I will now. Maybe I'll think about dude, it. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. I, I would love to see it. You're there was one dude who got. Well, I had. I had that. Why wouldn't you ever, <laughs> with the way that you are, with your your harem of women on your vlogs? A harem. There's gotta be a. You got a harem. There's gotta be something. You know, what if it was a naked burger review? What if I it just? Was, I don't. Uh, know, I don't know why I haven't. I just. It just never really right spoke there. to me because I feel like a lot of that stuff is like moment in time, whereas my like long term play is go to go like speak at a school and talk to these kids about how to like get their their heads in check how to not do dr like Por like real no i'm not saying you can't do both i'm not saying that but i just feel like there's like an inherent so like adam 22 straddles right and i had the opportunity to go out there and do only fans i had the number one retired porn star in the world who ha happily i'm sure would have started a new channel with me we could have mm -hmm. made millions yeah. and millions of dollars yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. there was just something about it that always was like for me personally as a, it, it, like what I with what I do, like once I cross that line, I can't come back. Like once I yeah, once your yeah. dick's on the internet, internet porn over. is crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I you know, I like I definitely don't. What do am I gonna? Do? You think somebody's gonna pay to see me pull my phone? Well, who phone is it? Is it like only if no one wants to see that they would? I they don't would think fucking, anyone. I'd have to pay them. To yeah, I, think I don't Tyga think anyone. Oh, that's what I'm trying to yeah. say. But you know, uh, this one guy. There, I know how many people like Tyga for example. Does Tyga show dick? No, it was a bunch of girls. Dude, that's but not right away. That's so crazy. No, but Tyga's got like the vibe of like he's. Tyga, like, dude, like, I'm a yeah. fucking 37 year old ex crackhead. <laughs> yeah, totally. with a fast who wants to see my car? Yeah, like, dude, like, yeah. who, what am I gonna do? Like, today, I'm gonna show you my dick and talk about Lexapro. Like, <laughs> no one wants to fucking That's hear no one wants to see that shit. Dude. I mean, it's kind of yeah. what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. Now. You know, there was a dude, uh, he was on a reality <laughs> show. What's his fucking name? But he went to OnlyFans. Apparently, he's one of the biggest. Guys on there. Talking about Harry Jowsey. Yeah, Harry. You're, oh, you're Jowsey's him, crushing it on OnlyFans. Dude, he's like the crushing fifth biggest. It. He's like in the top ten. Like he, but it's the same situation with him. Like he's a fucking he good looking, six foot, like twelve fucking. Yeah. He's got washboard stomach. And he works out. And Se that's seven feet, by the way. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's, you know, <laughs> like I said, this took a lot out of me. But uh, but yeah, he for crushed real. it for on reason, those brain pills. <laughs> yeah, the, the alpha brain's man, starting to wear off. I think that ain't yeah, happening. Yeah. Yeah. Got now you're mm -hmm. dependent. Do you have that's porn? how Rogan does it. Do you have no, I, they, Do you think that really affected you? It's not affecting me now. Like, I'm not actually coming down from it. But it has. It really has. No, I think it really does get me into a little bit. brain. It's vitamins. It's just vitamins. Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Okay. Well, you told me it's a cumulative effect. Like I needed to. Well, I, I think in theory it is. I don't believe it does I anything try though. It. I haven't tried it. Oh, you had a. I don't know if you want to talk about this because maybe. Oh my god! Just scared. let me go. Oh, you want to go? Home? No, I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> I was like, kidding. okay. I'm just. I don't, I'm not. Hey, I'm not Andrew Tate. I'm not I'm keeping just your Instagram. Just fucking with you. What did <laughs> I have? Any time. <laughs> what did Would I you have? talk about? The, apparently, you had a stalker, an OnlyFans stalker. Oh, he said pregnancy. I was confused. Oh, I just threw oh, that out there. You're pregnant. I know. I was. Trying, I was actually racking. It was brain. like a dartboard. I figured maybe it would hit, and well, you would just right. start spilling your guts. Right. No, I was actually. I feel like everything has happened to me online. I was like, have I had a pregnancy scare? Um. Yeah, I still do. I have a stalker right now from my OnlyFans. I don't, I mean, I've had a couple of stalkers in life, but this one's from my OnlyFans and it was weird. It just started as a lot of messages and then he started showing up to my house and just giving cold knocking. Did you? Yeah, but I have it? security, so they would okay, just like good, send him good, away. Good, good. And then sending all these flowers. Here I am thinking it's like some guy, some secret admirer. It's just him. He lives in a van. He spent a lot of money on my OnlyFans. Bless his heart. I so don't he's know. a he's a good customer. I think he's trying to kill me. I think the fact think that you have to... you have security is is good. I, I there's a lot. I have of... a lot of people show up to my house. Yeah, yeah. In your line of work. In my life. No, but he's right. Yeah. It's yeah. the nastiest people Dude's I ever saw. Fucking since crazy. Day but... one. It's been so, even since far before OnlyFans, mm. just through YouTube and mm. you know. I don't know. Is it mostly dudes that weird dudes or is there is there like yeah I, th fans? I think it's always been like weird guys mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had a girl stalker that'd be fun <laughs> anyone out there the, yeah. the job is available it is it is yeah but you I have don't you know. had some stalkers I've had I wouldn't say stalkers but I've definitely had people show up to my house I've been swatted a bunch of times the FBI came I've to my house I've been swatted like twice Cody 
Cody. Cody. <laughs> yeah. Have you? I mean, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. People show up at my house. I, have, I live in a building. I have a doorman, but they still That's figure good. it out. That's yeah. good. You, you you're on the street. I, well, I used to live at Logan's, and when I was dating Lana, that was when it was the worst. Like people would show up, and they would they would like. You guys had security, probably. Yeah, but that. they would hit the doorbell sometimes, or like, or on the outside of the gate, and they would be like, "I'm the Antichrist. Send Lana out." And like they would oh, throw like, yeah, bro, it was bro. some real fucked up. And then like once me and her broke up, there's just nothing because once again I have to say like no one cares about a 37 year old ex crack it. Like they're not gonna <laughs> knocking at my door like, "Yo, man, let me see those man boobs." Like. No one gives a shit, bro. Right, I'm right. useless. <laughs> I need to write another book in a hurry. <laughs> Go check out the Fifth Vital on Amazon. It is a good, it's a good book. I yeah, would plug yeah. it. In. Someone I, here read it, didn't that? I read yeah. it. I read it. Yeah, Cameron I liked think, it. It's a slay. Did you like it? I, I gotta say, within the past ten years, it's my all-time favorite memoir hey, that whoa. I read. Hey, thank yeah, you, brother. That means Aww. Aww. Yeah, no, nice. It, thank you. I didn't want to get too serious, but it's uh, very meaningful. Wow, that's thank quite you, an endorsement. It took me a long time to write it, bro. Years and years and years. It's been really, it. really effective. Sold hundreds of thousands of copies. I hope it Good, sells man. hundreds of thousands more. Yeah. yeah so, um, in short, I think I just do. Maybe I'll just show my cock and not, like full outfit, just my dick out. Thoughts? Yeah. You mean like, right now or OnlyFans? On, on OnlyFans. I would subscribe. Hi, just the dick. I would subscribe. You would as long as, as, the, as long as Hila gets one hundred percent of the money. Yeah, she's my she's my pimp. <laughs> 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 I didn't know nice. she was gonna be here today. I kind of thought maybe she would join. Yeah. <sighs> Listen, uh, I don't like she. You know what I no, mean? No, 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 no. She, it's fine. she, 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 does, she likes to avoid this kind of shit that I, I get her in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? She, she doesn't want to. I always, yeah, you can see it on her face in the Lana yeah, Rhodes yeah, clip. She, she was like, that will all, well, she, a lot of everybody. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because like I always would see it and I would like see you just like right when you would just start to go into something like you would just see her just automatically yeah, saying, like, she, oh yeah. no, not again. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a time when it was like every week I was getting into trouble. Just yeah. a fucking huge like pseudo cancellation yeah. on twitter pseudo cancellation you know oh, it's so it's so exhausting man yeah you i mean but i've been good lately well i did say ding, ding. but that, and, not seriously well, well yeah yeah there there's maybe been a few incidents there's been a few but yeah. the good thing last about, week some doozies yeah the good thing about the the ding, ding, incident which is i'm just referencing it yeah not saying it can you even say it in air quotes as a reference i like, think are so you, uh, we'll bleep it. Just bleep the B, B word. word yeah. yeah. I would say that. Terrorist. But the good thing about that <laughs> was that my fans weren't actually mad at me. And that's when it, you know, sucks the most is when your own fans are angry at me. Yeah, like, yo, you can't say because yeah. they want you to behave. Because they know that if you don't, they could lose you. And and or offend them. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. for example, what do you think about Steve? Steve will do it. I don't know anything about why he was banned. Gone. Perma ban channels. I don't do you know, know this. No, I saw yeah, this two yesterday. Two days ago, his channel's gone. Do you know why? Yeah, I don't know anything about. You know, it. dude, listen. I I know Steve. Steve's Steve's a sweet kid. He does do Love a lot him. of stuff for for people. He does a lot of you know charitable stuff for people. Um, you know, I think he. I think my guess is that he does tiptoe around some some topics that I mean, he's wild. Yeah, there's no question. Mm. By the way, not in no way saying he, he. I don't know the circumstance. I don't know if it was yeah. I don't whatever. Know. Yeah. But I like, heard he was just on like a strike five type. Like he, it was just yeah. like he's had a lot of strikes and yeah. whatever what was it was. The final I don't flow. know that I don't. Know. just put that video that? out with with six I'm nine looking. and they went to the favelas in Brazil and were giving out money to to what seemed like I don't even know who these people were but like you know there was guns in the video oh shit yeah that's, and like not yeah, like that, handguns like that's pretty yeah that's pretty <laughs> so I would assume that might have been a part of it yeah. but I don't know <laughs> I'll say right now yeah I'll say. I'll say sometimes I get in trouble with YouTube and I'm just like, this is so fucking dumb. So I don't know what he did. You know, he Steve's a good Steve is a good kid. I know. I know. I don't like their steak and uh, uh, association with steak. Oh, we were going to get gambling. you sponsored. <laughs> I wish I'd be a fucking I'd be everybody so sponsored. <laughs> everybody sponsored by steak now, though. Yeah. Yeah, not not you guys, us. Yeah. but steak for the is offer's bullshit, probably been bro. there. This is fucking. Why I is think I think what will happen Did is there a crypto gambling scene based in Kurosawa. But I think what you're going to see uh, is you're going to see a lot of those things that you're bringing up start to fall off, and eventually yeah. you're going eventually you're going to have to say the old steak was X, Y, and Z because eventually they're going to get so big. Well, I think the FBI is probably taking a close look at steak right now, so we'll see what happens with. Yeah, that. but they'll probably make the changes that are necessary to make. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm not against gambling or anything. I just, the whole thing is shady. I remember the whole. I remember it, dude. Think about it, bro. I was on the house. Who do you think the first call went to after Aiden did the fucking show? You know what I'm <laughs> really? saying? Like you guys are that close, bro. I was in Spain and I get a call at six in the morning. Like, yo, we got a problem. Aiden went rogue <laughs> and <laughs> thought he could take it down even HD matter. by Nobody himself. Cared. Nobody even cared about it, and he's still gambling, so it doesn't matter. The deal just got bigger. <laughs> that's, it. that's all that happens. Um, HD three. No, I'm not going to get into this now. But uh, anyway, what a nice time, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy we did it, and I'm, yeah. I mean what I said earlier. You know, uh, your audience. Let me tell you, when I needed them the most, they came and supported me and your empathy when I needed it. It meant a lot. You may have saved me in a way, you know? And we, thought, we thought we were coming in here to fight it out, but no, no, not today. No, no, not today. There we not go. Today we're squashing the beef, you know, and emotionally healing. Yeah. And, I, just, uh, I just want to throw this out there. After um, the whole ding dong thing happened, I just, I was in a dark place. And um, yep. don't mock my trauma. I'm not. I'm being dead serious. And if and honestly, like you, the, he's kind of mocking your trauma. No, I'm not. He I'm is. not. There we go. Dude, Put the thing me, on bro. his I'm head. There, yeah, dude. And like after I lost that deal, bro. And if it honestly, if it wasn't for you guys and, and more so the audience, dude, I, I don't think I would have. You're trying to win over our audience. Yeah, I don't think. No, I'm but he's right. Our audience, they they can they are, they can really. He told me he was. Mike, I don't think that. you understand. I was flung off a crane. I had my yeah, brain yeah, bashed yeah. in and then exiled by a group that were all my friends. Not uh, some of them, you know, didn't. <laughs> um, so yeah, it meant a lot that you understand the situation, you know? Yeah, I, w I always had a lot of empathy for you, you know, in that whole situation. It. By yeah, the way, yeah. how do you feel about David kind of, his career is kind of sideways now, isn't it? Oh, I feel real bad for him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what tragic. do you want me to say to that? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have any schadenfreude? What's that mean? It's like pleasure in another's misfortune. No, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I watched the yes, episode <laughs> of you reacting to that podcast they put out. I watched it this morning just to, you know, because I try not to think about it. I try not to talk about it too much because mm, it does mm -hmm. fuck my head up, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. just to refresh everything, I watched it today and it was dope how you saw what I'm trying to say. Cause a lot of times I can't even articulate mm, what I'm trying mm, to say mm. and you got it. So mm. yeah, thank you. We're dogs, bro. We're BFFs. Mm -hmm. My close second. <laughs> Tana, you're not at what you weren't in consideration, but consider I'm just fucking here. I think. I think yeah. today I was I just fucking. You, I think. Just, yeah, you're. Good. I'm so glad. I'm so happy you eight. came. <laughs> no, I am. I, and, and you know what? I'm happy to be here. My apologies to you are are because you didn't. You know, you did nothing to me. So. I'm just an innocent bystander. You really you didn't are. even talk about any of the stuff that like we did, which is great. You know what I'm saying? But like, I thought. I guess we talked about you. Your like. Do you want to talk about something? No, but like there, we had back and forths, and there was only the back. I feel bad. Oh, I thought maybe you would. Do you want to apologize or anything? Me. I yeah. mean, yeah. I mean, I think we all. Go ahead. You know, well. Yeah, make me look like the asshole. Well, on your you know, shit. I, dude, there was. I went on some podcasts and said some things that were not, you know, okay. great. Okay. Actually, what I called you was a bully. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember I called mm -hmm. you a bully? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I it's really not even like that. It's not that bad. bad. Yeah, I get it. I felt bullied at the time. Yeah. Do I? Should I say sorry for that? No, you don't. It just have to feels like that's that. like you I didn't say to... anything else besides that. No, that was like the only thing I said. Yeah, yeah. And it was after you mentioned a twenty-yard <laughs> bro. Once again, no, it's too big. Wall to wall in this room. Yeah. How would you even Very have enough blood no. to facilitate a boner in that situation? You Very would need a, a pool. Uh, anyways, can we get an image of that cam? Uh, this it. is, this is, um, <laughs> oh boy. this is breaking, uh, this is, who is this guy in the photo? Was, wait, who is that? You want to break this down for me, Cam? Oh, that was in reference to the, nobody would buy his OnlyFans. Wait, what is, oh, it's just an image. With yeah. The logo. Oh, it's, it's the OnlyFans logo, and it's spelled as Dink Doink. Is that the OnlyFans font? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm never gonna live. Good, I'm man. never gonna live this down, bro. <laughs> Hold on, let me. It's like honestly, out of all the things, once again, like I literally. Wait, is this you? I thought bro, you got abs in that photo. Yeah, I was like, no, I know, but I, I was, I was really flexing them. 
Really? Yeah, like I was doing everything. But even that you can see them is pretty impressive. Do you have a massive scar here? Yeah, I have a lot of scars. Wait, what's this from? Uh, Splenectomy. I had my spleen removed. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's a rough one, eh? Uh, Read the fifth vital, dude. It's in there. It's a whole chin, the whole story about it. Yeah, did you guys buy this point, this boat with Dink Doink or what? Oh, dude. bro, they would have, we would have to pay them. We, bro, the it was a loss. It was a I'm loss. just kidding. I'm just kidding. But now we're now it's friendly ribbing. Yeah, yeah, friendly I'm with ribbing. that. I think it even yeah. was before too. Like it's just, dude. Like I still want that deal back that I lost. Bro. Yeah. Like imagine the call. They're like, hey, we heard about Dink Doink. Like I'm like, what are you saying right now? <laughs> Is that like, really? What the fuck? Oh, that's dude. pretty interesting. <laughs> Well, I'd love to have you. Maybe we can do a friend episode soon where it's like the beef is squashed. Just talk. Now and we'll start new talk. beef. Yeah. New beef with other people. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Always down. That I like. Always down. Yeah. Dirty laundry, baby. Pays the rent. And I got a big mortgage now. Mm-hmm. Is that right? <laughs> Who should we take it's on? not really that big. Yeah. I mean, it's. Who haven't you taken on yet? Fresh beef. Yeah, who have you just never talked shit about? Oh my god, that's a great question. That would take some. Re- I'd have to really sit down and think about. Bro, that. you've gone to every single. Person. There's <laughs> no one. I'm trying to think of my body, like who are my friends? Why don't you go after your friend? Have you gone after Biden or Pelosi or anybody? Like oh yeah, that? I fucking hate oh. both of them. We should on Biden all the time. <laughs> all the time on this show. <laughs> He's too fucking old, dude. I'm He's like so, so tired of the Jerry the Jerrytocracy. Old people running our country. I wish they would fucking die. Yeah, it's crazy. Pass the baton. No, all right, for sure. It's, it's not. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm just <laughs> wish. That, wait, that, that, can that, I that. wish death on somebody? I mean, just, no. I, no, I can't. Explicitly, you can't do that. Okay, wait. Yeah. Can I say I wish he dies? I, 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 I'm, of I'm, natural I'm causes. Heavy, you know, I don't know. He's an old guy. <laughs> I just, you just you love walking nervous, that man. fucking line, bro. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, I do. It's fun. I do. Come it's on, funny. Man. But I'm just saying, like, if he dies of natural causes, I had nothing to do with that. Fair. Yeah. See, Oliver Tree said you were gonna say shit like this, dude. He said you gotta really be careful around that guy. Oliver was right. Yeah, well he has monkey pox, so who's careful around him? Crowder <laughs> said it's one hundred percent gay. Well, oh yeah, that's true. Is that right? No, he didn't. He said, "Why? When are we gonna start calling monkeypox a gay disease?" And I just responded to it and I said, it's "Every single case." No, obviously not. Because if it's I didn't not, see that. Yeah. then we can't call it that, can we? There, that would there, be an absolute it's not statement. not a gay disease. I mean, that's like saying AIDS is a gay disease. It's well, not. they did say that at first, and they yeah, hindered the fucking yeah, stoppage horrible. of it. Yeah. Also, it's fucked up because it makes people think, well, I'm not gay. I'm not going to catch it. And you do. Right. You're not mm. careful. Seems bad, by the way. You guys seen people suffering with the monkeypox? Mm. Is it? Yeah. I know painful. nothing about it. Dude. Excruciating pain. Really? Just covered in like. A... Is it? Is it? Fa- is it fake? No, oh. nobody's died of it in the U.S. Uh, I thought they. I thought people. I thought it's like one percent. Kills one percent of people. I heard that stat, but I also heard that nobody in the United States has died from it. Where we hear this TikTok? No, I saw. I saw, I saw it on the news. You think we're heading towards another? I get all my news off at of TikTok. So <laughs> shut down. Lockdown. I don't because monkeypox is way less contagious than. Oh COVID. really? It's like not even the same thing, in my opinion. Because you have to like literally touch a boil, a pus. Oh. Yeah, like that's how you get it. Like you have. So people are getting it from like bed sheets, like at a hotel. Oh my sitting god. Sitting on a toilet seat, you know, stuff where those people are gay that laid on the bed sheets though. Is that right? <laughs> That's true. Got him. Yeah. Got him. But uh, it's true. Most people catching it are are you know gay. But that's yeah. but but yeah, not all of them. And there you have it. All right. Well, that was nice. Yeah. No notes from us. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you. I think the only thanks guys. Only one that needs edits is you. All right. We're done. <laughs> thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> this is going up tomorrow, by the way. Thank okay. you really for appreciate thank you all. all right. Shout out to the family. Yep. Never go against the family. Gabish. All right. <laughs>